Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing more of the story, but listen, I just want to play the game. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance in the story a little bit. You will see the end of the last part, which has a cliffhanger leading up to where I currently am. Look at how scenically I selected the shadow from my face, by the way. <laughs> I also got Bronya in the meantime. There will be a super cut of me getting progress in the game and like ascending my characters and doing some other stuff on the second channel or maybe the first channel, I don't know, whatever you want to see, but me actually playing the game more than just the story. And I'm going to keep going just until I can do this quest right here, the Equilibrium, because I want to level up my characters even more. My resin is kind of useless at the moment. So, I was about to do the uh, Ascension quest, but I can't leave the area, Hello? so I have to sit down. Hello, Pom Pom. It's about time we hit the road, passengers. Uh-huh. Thanks to the three trailblazers, mm -hmm. the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level. Lovely. The readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. <laughs> nice. Pom -pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Alright. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Bye, Yurillo. It was nice knowing you. We only scoured such a small part of the area, though. Shansha Luofu. Shackling prison. Oh my god. Okay. What a teaser for the next part, I guess. Or hello. Maybe I cut it. Who knows? Oh, this is me! New guy. I have new guy. Whoa. They look badass. Yan Ching. Yes, General. Listen to me. Watch young man. this person carefully. Who is this? Do you remember me? <laughs> I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Of five people, oh. three must pay a price. Oh. You are one of them. <laughs> Holy shit, Don. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. Wow. Back to the vibey train music. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo. What, what did the I hell? Tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. Ah, he's nightmaring. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. Yeah. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. That's not how sleeping anyway, works. No point wasting our time in the corridor. What, are you gonna barge in? The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Uh huh. Same old location apparently, and we can't be late. All right. Let's head over. Oh, by the way, yeah. you drew the short straw. Oh. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. I didn't draw anything. That's not true. Don Hong? You are right? Nobody answers. Don Hong? <laughs> Don Hong, I'm sorry. <laughs> one more, one more. Don Hong? Bro. Fourth time's a charm. Damn it. Five, five. All right, that's too many. But maybe a sixth... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, um, is this still the same? Yeah, I have to finish an invitation without a proffer. Hey, Morning. Himeko. You're very punctual. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the word... Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. <laughs> well, today's the first time. The trailblazing of Yurilo 6 is drawn to a close. Yep. And the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Uh-huh. What's the next planet like? We don't know yet. Trailblazing is really... Trailblazing really is a full-time job, huh? The universe is boundless, and trailblazing never ends. Yeah. Even a lifetime isn't enough to explore every world. You're right. That's the beauty of the unknown. You're right again. The meeting will start soon. All right. Cool. Mr. Welch. You're looking well. Thanks. You're looking wonderful, too. <laughs> Coming with us this time? <laughs> you better believe it. You guys really put on a show for your real Yo, I'm cool. eager to join in myself. Cool. I gotta say, there were more than a few times where I wanted to lend a hand. I know. But... Mimiko said I should let you youngsters rise to the trailblazing challenge. I know, I know. You said this before. Very cute. Pom pom. <clears throat> Did you receive the destination overview? No. Excited? Yeah. Mimiko's gonna announce it in this meeting. So you don't know yet? No. After all that cold and exhaustion on Yurilo 6, you must be looking forward to the next planet. Tropical 
mm, beach island. I like all planets equally. <laughs> Pom Pom's thrilled that you're enjoying your journey. Uh huh. A long, long time ago, this train would ferry the nameless from planet to planet. Yeah. Now it's able to do the same again. Nice. If you're ready, head over to the front of the train. The meeting is about to start. Sure. I have to. I'm stuck in here. Passengers. Yes. The warp navigation meeting has officially begun. How long is this? Firstly, <laughs> Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the nameless, oh, thank you. for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. Uh huh. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. Wonderful. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? Yeah, what do you think? You had no faith in us? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, <laughs> to reveal the name of our next stop. Here we go. I've never heard this before. Never of my life. Long oh. time no see, Astral Express crew. Hello. It's Kafka. Hello, Kafka. <laughs> Wait, everyone can see her? I came at a good time. You're all here. Don Hong's Every not here. Single one. No need for the mysterious introduction. Wow, they Stellaron actually know Hunter. each other. <laughs> Stellaron Hunter. Himiko, correct? What? Apologies for interrupting your little get together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. What are I'd you like doing? you to make a destination alteration. <laughs> destination I've alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron <laughs> Hunter. Even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster, they were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Wow. Do you know the figure? The rivalry. Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, uh -huh. not an insult. Sure. Don't you think? I feel the it. The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. <laughs> you wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. Uh huh. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, oh, leading a yep. bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous <laughs> objects in the universe. <laughs> Yeah. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. This is true. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. Is Don Hong a variable? I'm still like, she said everyone's here. Don Hong wasn't there. Don Hong might be a variable in Kafka's plans or something. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. <laughs> it was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue Ooh. our little discussion. I do agree that with that, though. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? No. <laughs> but Sienjo Go Law on. <laughs> it belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Nice. Mm, but... What you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. Uh-huh. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. Oh, thanks for the info. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? Yes, a true shocker. What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. Uh-huh. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Not exciting. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <laughs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Okay. My companion, Blade, oh. has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. Really? I want to bring him back. Resolve this Stellaron crisis and clear our names. They're the Cloud Knights, so Chicken Girl is from there. Okay. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds <laughs> like a weird coincidence <laughs> to me. You just happen to show up after the Stellaron burst? Yes. Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? <laughs> we should help seal the Stellaron and help the... Maybe we can sell our friendship to the Stellaron Hunters, or is there anything in this for us? I mean, are, I don't know, what is our thing? Are we just after Stellarons, or what? Is there anything in there for us? No! Why are we listening to her? I have no the choice. The Alliance is strong. 
Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? Apparently. We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. <laughs> well, I'd say wealth definitely is one of those. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, mm -hmm. you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the star rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. Sure. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship. And over half of the inhabitants will perish. Why? I don't understand why. Why us? Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers. You benevolent, <laughs> nameless. <laughs> Can you really remain indifferent to that? Probably not. This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? Mm -hmm. No comment. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. All right. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. Uh, sure. See you later. Bye. G good to see you, I think. That was something. <gasps> March, get Don Hung. All right. We already tried. <laughs> Convince Don Hung to vote for your destination. So what was that about, huh? Kafka. Ugh. Pom Pom doesn't like her. Yeah. She smells of danger. For sure. Still, a trailblazer should choose their goal and the road they take to get there themselves. That's the creed of the great Akivili. All right. Cool. Well, how could the mighty Sienjo alliance be breached by a stellar? I don't know. What do you make of it? Something's not right. The Sienjo Alliance is a small faction, but yeah. one that derives its power directly from an eon. Right. Wow. They have immense strength, much more than a train under the protection of the fallen Akivili. Okay. Stellarons can lead to the collapse of stars scattered throughout the universe, but the Sienjo has land the hunt on their side. Yeah. I yeah. struggle to believe that Stellarons pose a threat in the eyes of the eons. Sure. Either the Stellaron hunters are lying, or there's an even bigger threat lurking on the Sienjo Lafu. Interesting. This is big. Yep. I'm coming with you this time. Weld wants to go to that place anyway. What do you think about all this? I don't know. I don't know. We, 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 I'm okay with whatever, honestly. We should go. Oh? And why is that? We, we, we're the nameless. Yeah, the Shishav Show needs us. <laughs> I see you're already a full-fledged trailblazer. You're right. We can't remain indifferent to those in crisis. Good. Good we agree, Himeko. All right, now let me go wipe the sweat off Don Hong's forehead. Listen, Don, we must Whoa, go. what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm convincing him that we must go. <laughs> he knows. He agrees with me already. I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? No. We're gonna vote against it. No. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. We have to save the people. March. March. It's way too much of a coincidence. Yeah, I know. A Stellaron hunter shows but up adventure. at the site of a Stellaron March. Earth. But adventure. just happens to be occurring nearby? Yes. Does anyone really believe that? I do. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm not. She just hijacks our communications and then hangs up? Yeah. So rude. I know. You used to know her, right? Mm-hmm. Was she always like this? I don't know. She just shoved the Stellaron up my body and now I'm like this. You shouldn't talk about girls behind their backs. Wow. I don't remember. We don't need another amnesiac on this train. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. I'm voting for. I want to vote in favor. <laughs> I should have known you'd listen to that Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But you should think before you do that. And I thought it's done. Don, opening your door, Don. Seems like the longer I spend in my room, the stranger things are when I emerge. Don't go back to your room. Mm. March told me. Yeah. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. I can't go to the Lofu. Oh, interesting. You have history? I'm forbidden from setting foot on that ship. Wow. Total interception of any attempt to enter the Dominion is how they chose to put it. So interesting. So if you're planning on going... I can't go with you. Then you can do some resting. I remember the Xianzhou was a sight to behold. Good luck. So you're voting with me, thanks. Don Hong's bed. It's all sweaty, but never mind. Alright, hey friends. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. Yes, hyperspeed. <clears throat> I'm fine. 
And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Yes. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. Choice is made. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. I'll take the L. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth. But we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. Yeah. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. <laughs> Lovely. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. <laughs> I'm looking at her. Three, two, one. March is also going to lift her hand. <laughs> arms by my side, hands out, really? I got hands out. Yeah, of course. Even March. Four against one. <laughs> well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Joe. Good stuff, March. I knew you'd I knew you'd be rightful as well. <laughs> Didn't you say you were voting against? Uh, I calmed down and thought about it a bit. Uh-huh. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, yep. then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Yep. Now's the time for thinking about other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I respect it, March. I'm sorry. How suddenly principled of you. Nah, I, I wouldn't bully her here. I respect that she changed her mind. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. <laughs> She's actually being bullied by everyone. Stop. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? He has to. Yes, I'm staying this time. Welt, Welt, Welt. In that case... Yeah. Welt. Ready for a trailblazing expedition? Let's go. I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. Cool. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. Let's go. Don't worry. I'm actually excited for this. Destination Sienjo, here we come! Alright. That's hype. Train is about to make the jump. Here we go, friends. Five, the start of a new arc. Four, three, three. They actually type numbers. Two. One. We're gone. But actually, we went back. Good day, friends. Welcome to the second arc. Whoa. Whoa. I know. So that's the Xianzhou ship? <laughs> yes. It looks even bigger than your Relo 6. Wow, really? For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Oh. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Yeah. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. Kind of cool. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. That's very cool. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. <laughs> you okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? What she says. This is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. <laughs> we have arrived in Xianzhou territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. <laughs> Welcome to Lawful. Okay. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Uh, Please wait transfer. Okay. Is it stuck on repeat? It sounds like one of those automated customer service numbers. <laughs> <sighs> Something's not right. Oh, you don't say. The signal is still repeating. But no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe they're all dead already. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. Uh-huh. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. I know. It's not good. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, yep. loads of horror movies start? I was actually going to mention it, too, with the whole ship that has, like, sustenance and everything. <laughs> Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Uh-huh. Please wait. Transfer. Uh huh. Please wait. Transfer. I am awaiting the transfer, madam. Still the automated signal? Yep. Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, oh, there we go. What? The Jade Gate oh. now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu, welcome guests from afar. Hey, the signal's Please working now, too. To dock in accordance with the guidance. It's not cutting off anymore huh? at all. Is this still automated? I think so. We'll see. The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. Maybe we're just getting baited. 
which is fine. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the express. Yeah, you do that. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> Trailblazers, assemble! Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. So how? What with? All right. Well, I really... I, I just this give me the end of the quest. chance to witness Welt in action. I know. <laughs> I'm glad he's going with you. I'm excited to see it. So Welt's got skills? <laughs> he doesn't talk much about his past. If you ask him, he'll just tell you about how he worked in animation. Nice. But that's only a small part of his story. Believe me when I say he has more experience than I do. I've heard some things, for sure. Hey, Don. You need to take extra care on this expedition. I will. I promise. I've compiled some intel on this Yen Zhou for you. Oh. I hope it comes in useful. Thank you. That's very qu cute and sweet. I was going to say quite. Before we set off, mm -hmm. I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. Sure. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to yeah. consider and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition <laughs> is... I love this trio already. <laughs> Getting to know other people with power. The Stellaron. It has to be the Stellaron, come on, say it. Precisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Stellaron hunters clearly have ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, yeah. I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. Uh-huh. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so okay. our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. Well, at least it's not a, like... But as trailblazers, we're not, we're evil. not in this for fame How do you again. say this? We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. We're not like rivals, so we're not coming in and being murdered instantly. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Uh-huh. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. That's pretty cool. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Let's get it. All right, exciting, exciting stuff. Oh, new background. Here we are already. We're on the ship. Oh, uh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. Wow, pretty. This area oh. isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Oh. Who decided to send us this way? I guess we weren't welcome and trusted yet. Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creep. Yeah, it's a bit odd. At this point, I think it'd be creepy if we did see someone. Yet, someone opened the gate for us. <laughs> huh. Oh, stop talking. <laughs> if there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. <laughs> Mr. Yang, what should we do? Walk. We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. Yeah, sure. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. Music. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. Yeah, all right. Pretty decisive. Uh, what if they're not friendly and we can't defeat them? I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Are you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? I haven't seen him. Oh, right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. I know. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> He's fucking cool. Here we go. Windswept Wanderlust admits the Mara Struck start. Exciting stuff, but I will record that a different time. So, I'll see you back then and there. Yes, I did get Branya. Yes, I will be shooting all the phases on site. And there's a dead man. Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. He's dead. Ignore him. Well, you can. <laughs> you just walked past him. What's up, dead man? Up ahead. Yes. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. <laughs> Shut up, dude. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Wow. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. Jeez. I'm on it. That's actually so this cool. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Yes. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Yes, we can tell them to shut up too. <laughs> Here's another one. Up ahead. Please leave me. Of course. Take care, my son. What in the world is this stinky ball? Oh. I figured out what the stinky ball is. Secret? Damn it. Never lucky. Vase! <laughs> they glitch out so bad, actually. More dead men. Here we are, a new city, a new place, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. A lot of dead dudes. What's up, dead dudes? Just sit down, man. We know you're tanky and whatever, just sit down. Uh, there are wounded everywhere. Yes. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. Well, I think these guards are still civilians. 
I'm guessing the no? Sienjo must have evacuated okay. the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. Uh huh. But as for these uh, corroded monsters, have we seen them yet? We haven't seen any enemies here, I don't think. Hello. Up ahead. Please leave. Me. All right, I will leave you. Are you also gonna say up ahead? Please leave me. Soldier has already passed away. Oh wow. Surprising no visible wounds on the body. My man's literally dead. Up ahead. Please leave me. Ah, uh, please. Please, I need to be left. This place is very pretty. Alright, this is where that guy is. <laughs> you guys ever get that ad and the guy's like, the, the game is beautiful, I love this game, It's what I love it, it's a Careful. lot of fun. <laughs> We've never seen this kind of life form before. Have we not? It's just Obeying a bird. Orders, Mr. Yang. This dude an idiot, he can't even go up a ramp, look at this idiot. Oh wait, I lied. He can go up the ramp. Oh no, he's catching up. Bang. Oh, he's not. I got him on the ropes. Die, die. Oh, the double break. I can't wait to finally give this guy some more gear. He's been level 40 for way too long. I get how you guys feel about my gun, you know. This guy is strong against everything. Die. Ba ba what the hell? The Mara struck is healed. And he's dead again. <laughs> Why he revives? Not today, son. Get off my screen. fall back. Miss Ting Yun? They're Mara struck. I got so We've many. Already lost them. Okay. How interesting. Speaking of Ting Yun, I got so many of her when trying to get Chicken Girl. Look at this. Three spares. Three. Hello? I'm not Mara struck. I'm good guy. They kind of look cool though when Mara struck. Hey, you there? We need your help. <laughs> Hello, we need your help. <laughs> Chill. We're coming. Look at this, they have really cool leaves looking things though. Immo. Immo looks really cool. From the beast. No problem. Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Definitely giving self a compliment. Lend me your strength. I don't even oh, know, they're not weak to Electra either. <laughs> I don't have any of the required Show elements. No I need a fire character. Himeko! Oh no, he's healed. <laughs> He's got a cool mechanic. He gets a speed boost too when you do it. Oh look, he lost the leaves. We shrugged off his shrubs. Alright, guys, I've seen the revive three times. It looked cool. Now please stop reviving. It's just gonna be annoying from now on. Nice. Battle over. Hey there, Miss Tingyun. Miss Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but but there could be other dangers nearby. Yes. The situation oh, is Cloud serious. Knights. Allow us to escort you back to the Sky Faring Commission. Immediately. That's what Sushang always is on about. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Ting Yun. I appreciate it. My name is Ting Yun. I know. I'm the Amicassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. I see. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Are you a cat? <laughs> Are you a fox? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... <laughs> It's me. I'm <laughs> the galactic batter. <laughs> I like making cakes. Batter. Get it? It's funny because it's like you, you need batter to make cakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a heroic sounding name. Indeed. You're very smart, Miss Ting Yun. Uh, don't mind her. She likes to get a little creative with her introduction. Yeah, it's boring to not do it. I'm trying to avoid ending up on another wanted list. <laughs> that does, does happen. Uh, Can't deny it. Why not remind me before I give up my name? <laughs> I'll save you. It's fine. I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Uh huh. Although there is one thing I don't understand. Yeah. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown. I see. Since none of you are Sienjo residents. Mm -hmm. May I ask how you came to be here? Uh, I came to uh, visit my grandma. If you can't offer an explanation, uh -oh. I'm afraid these cloud knights will have to escort you out. Did you not see how I beat up those previous guys? I can beat up this hunk of metal. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the jade gate for us. When we arrived, there It's so nice to, to have found, wealth here. So we started to make our own way through. It's so nice to have wealth here just to explain all this. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Jade the Gate. The Skyfaring Commission Ning has Wong. already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. Well, apparently not. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. He's telling the true truth. 
We we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. How do you know? That's creepy. You've heard of us? Yes. We do exploits. We unfreeze the ice. We melt. If required, we don't melt if not required. Indeed, I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. It's okay. The Sinjo has suffered an incident. It's okay. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with We're it. We're actually here to help you with the crisis. You see, there's like an evil witch that helped us put a Stellaron in me, and now there's a Stellaron here. I'll save you from it. Basically. For your safety, Basically. you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. Oh, perfect. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of oh. the Skyfaring Commission oh. and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the I incident Madame you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. That is indeed. This is why we are the Tr Tr Astro Express. <laughs> your actions have already <laughs> what a giggle. revealed your kind hearts to me. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly... I can't make you any promises. That's okay. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Madame Yukong will love me. You know what? I think I really like Madame Yukong because she's she seems to be the equivalent of Ning Wang. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. I believe it. Come on now. I'll lead the way. I already love Madame Yukong. So much so that in fact I pulled for her. <laughs> I went, so, I, this is all in the, in the different video anyway, but, those monsters, I pulled for, there. with like, 25 pulls, and I got they were decently no lucky, monsters. I'm happy, they were no those monsters, were not to be confused with monsters, okay, we call them Mara struck, lifelong curse, or long life curse, long life curse, that's worse, why have we stopped, yes, why, don't worry miss, I have a favor to ask, Another That's one. All. Can you not see? You're covered in gold. I'm covered in pleb. I feel like I should be the one asking favors. Favor? Count me out. <laughs> what if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? <laughs> True. I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Mm, I'll Our consider it. Our head is barricaded. Do you see? No, because it's not panned. The soldiers oh, now I do. here must have moved these into a roadblock. Uh-huh. Let's push them aside together. <laughs> I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Mr. Yang Even does have a bonk. Us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Are you sure about that? Not that I'm doubting Where's John your skill, when you need him? But I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. Is this where you teach us climbing? If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the trove of verdure can be moved around using a control panel. Sure. You've already oh. put on quite the show. Oh. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the yes. control panel? Should be simple, right? Are you doubting me again, Tingyun? Right, so why don't you do it? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not built for hard labor. <laughs> it's controlling a crane from uh, a distance. She sure knows how to boss people around. Yes. I don't I don't we appreciate it. Here. This is pretty Take though. The barge to Starskiff Haven and we'll be safe. Lovely. I love safety, personally. Big fan of safety. And you know, such. you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about getting us escorted away by your cloud knights. If it weren't for Mr. Yang. <laughs> yep. You misunderstand. He is good if with you words. Were in my shoes right now, wouldn't you want to keep your guard up? Of course. I mean, it makes sense. That's true. But we came here to trailblaze, not jailblaze. Ha! <laughs> nice fun. I like that. Look at this dumbass. Bang! He thought I was actually leaving? Nah, bro. Is there a character that cancels passives? We need one of those. There's no time to lose. He's right. He speaks the truth. Space anchor activated. Okay, controller. I'm not looking at no tutorial. Move to the left. Move to the right. Left foot, let's go. What, really? That's it? Move to the left. <laughs> you call this a barricade? I don't understand. What is this? Oh, basic treasure. Even the, tr the scenic chests look different here. That's crazy. I have an idea for exploration still, so. Yeah, it's in my body. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, oh. so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. I need to check what's yes, in here. I am. As an Amicassador, mm -hmm. I've been to many places. Amicassador. And seen my fair share of mm, Smells corrosion. wonderful. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm also excited to hear that. Yeah, there we go. Defense, get the Lep set as well as uh, Electro Guy set. We might farm that with our remaining... That's not of importance, actually. That's not for this video. But good stuff. I definitely need both of those. Patrol Machine. You look... Ex you are a monkey. You are a monkey on ball. Wukong. No more playing nice. Oh my god, frog on ball! This is the coolest this island ever! Die, frog on ball. No I mean, they might be little lions on ball, actually, instead of monkey on ball. Although their arms are kind of monkey-like. Dude, I love frog on ball and monkey on ball. We shall take back nice. Nice slide. Hello! Wait, are those bad guys too? Close the door. I'm scared. Patrol machine, leave me alone. What in the world is that thing? There's like a big cube. Like, Zhong Li burst over there. Um, I don't know if I should kill these. I guess we might as well. Get out of here, monkey bot. E fish bot. <laughs> How? Oh, 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 you're one of those. You're not a real fish. Look at this. Look. I would love to have a meal here. Collect. Return to the future. Oh my god, it's a movie plot. That's definitely 100% a reference. I love this aesthetic of this little pond. I love it so much. So much, so much. I don't know where I'm going. This way. I know where I'm going. Here is another space anchor. Get ready and the man. And watch your backs. I mean, I'm always watching Leave my back. I'm third person camera. Leave it to me. Defeat enemies of unknown origin. Die. <laughs> you slowly walking up with the shield. He is boss guy. Die, boss guy. Extra action. Do you really think? You know, actually, I'm gonna blast you. The music is a bit quiet. I wanna turn it up a little bit. I should just chicken him anyway, right? The next move. Oh, wait. Is he cursed as well? He does have leaves. He's gonna respawn. He's absolutely. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, finally. Yeah. Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way. It's from the stress. Oh, my beautiful tail. Stop stressing. We had a difficult start, but things got easier. Uh huh. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. The barge. Anyone got a license for this thing? Nice. I'm driving. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. <laughs> Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. All right, all right. Items obtained. Undelivered letter. Unsent. Uh, an unsent letter addressed home. The author seems to have undergone some experimental treatment. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Leave. Well, puzzles. I can't wait to test that out. That looks incredibly intimidate. What? I don't know how to word speaks any more words. Intriguing. Extremely intriguing is what I think I was going to try and say. Cutscene. We're going. Whoa. Space boat in the air. Why would you make it a boat if it's a flying thing? People in the future are crazy. This is pretty. So is this. Remind me to turn up the audio again, I forget. Why am I telling you to do that? You can't do that. I love the aesthetic of this place. Of the Sky Faring Commission, yeah. Allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. Are you excited to go to jail soon? <laughs> On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, uh -huh. navigation, oh. and trade falls mm -hmm. within the scope of the Sky Faring Commission. I see. Which is one of the six commissions of the Six Lofu. commissions, of course. As the biggest port on the ship, yeah. Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Sky Faring Commission, too. All right. You definitely sound like a... Uh, what <laughs> was it again? Uh-huh. Oh, Amy Cassiter. Yup. By which I mean, nice speech. Amy Cassiter is just an amicable ambassador. That's too kind of you. Wow. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. This is my fake personality. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around. Yeah. But these are difficult times. Mm -hmm. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. So she's just admitting to being an awful, awful host right now. Palace of Astrum? Yes. Astro Express. Astrum Express. Right there, the tallest building in the city. Yep. It's also the headquarters of the Sky Ferrying Commission. Of course. Let's hurry. We haven't got much time. Sure. Uh. Can we talk about it first? <laughs> we need to take a breather. <laughs> I 
don't mean to rush you. Yeah. And Yu Kong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough. I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Well, so there's nothing bad in it for me, so let's just look around first. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. Hey, kind-hearted doesn't mean you can't be strict. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Nice, Welt. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we mm -hmm. won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Welt, champion. <laughs> well, she's not happy Very about well. it. <laughs> Alright, bye. Take care. She might be like a family of, or something. Can't be a coincidence. They both have cat ears and tails. Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. Fox I ears can't and keep tails. up with her. <laughs> Old man. I've spent too long on the bench. That's all right. Let's catch our breath for a while. Sure. Yeah? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Perfect. Can I explore? That Tingyun is a sly one. That Yukon, <laughs> Yukon sounds like a tough lady. Nice. Let's have a look around the city. Not yes. so fast. Ah, uh, but... Mr. Welt. I need to give you two a heads up oh, first. Oh, that's fair enough. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. I see. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. I wonder if I can actually, like, succeed or fail that dialogue. She is a top Sienjo leader. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? Well, we do have Mr. Yang, at least. So he can talk us out of things. Are you saying that... Madam Yukong is a new Madam Kukolia? <laughs> Let me guess, they're gonna put us in a hotel first. <laughs> no, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. Okay. But Madam Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Sure. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? Yeah. How did we know that the incident is related to a Stellaron? Yeah. Who leaked their information to us? Fair enough. Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, yep. which would make things much harder for I us. I love this. Ah, oh, crud. crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong. I just know it. Nah, not me, not me. Not me, not ever. I feel offended. Mr. Young should do the talking. This is true. If, if he does the talking, we're fine either way. Shouldn't we plan out what we have to say, I guess? Let's just be honest with her. I think that's a bad, bad idea. <laughs> I feel offended. You know what? <sighs> Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Of course he would do the talking anyway. Let me do the talking. Sure. He's gonna definitely tell us to switch, to like, the, or she's gonna ask us questions instead. Benefactor, I'd like to ask you something. What is it? Uh, this may be disrespectful, but I'm very curious. Is the Express really here just to solve, just to help the Shen? I'm gonna mispronounce this so many times already. Xianzhou Luofu? Solve the Celeron problem. Yeah? Why? What are you trying to say? <laughs> this is such a passive-aggressive answer, what the hell? Is it really that hard to understand why the Express is here? <laughs> <laughs> Can't someone act simply out of the kindness of their heart? That's way too, way more passive aggressive than I thought it would be. After all, people who help others without thinking of compensation or risks during the dangerous trips across the galaxy is rarer than an air vac or than air in a vac air in vacuum. When the higher ups of Sancho first heard of your reasons for coming, they thought you were here to either seek immortality or the Stellaron. Seek the Stellaron? Stellarons are the seed of ruin. Why would the Express want the Stellaron? But not everyone in the galaxy thinks in this way. As the seed dispersed by Eon, some desire to obtain his power regard regardless of the cost. Apologies, I may have crossed the line. I don't know why I said all this. I have absolute trust in your sincerity, benefactor. But the powerful masters are bound to think more than a pawn like me. So please, be careful. She's actually kind of sweet. She's actually kind of sweet. Sauntering Fox. As you can see, I'm level 50 again, so we're kind of level locked for now. Let's see, can I escape town? So I think we might be done for now. I'm gonna end it here and I'll be back some other time because I already commented a lot today and we will keep going in the story, but this is a really cool cliffhanger for me, so I can't wait to do more of this. All right, take care, and I'll see you soon. Okie dokie. Hey everybody, I'm back, and we are going to start the story now. As you can see, I pulled for Yukong. I don't know if this happened before. I know who Yukong is now, and I just realized all of these people, where are your ears? Are they tucked behind your helm? Look, everyone has ears here. It must be just local. This one is just a normie with ears. How cool. It really makes... It devalues ears, though, I will say. Oh, I can just walk around here. You know, I tried to sneak around to level up some more, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so I have to keep going in the story. It's been a while. Oh, Let's do it. you're here already. Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mm. Madame Yukong is expecting you. I kept you waiting. Are you not coming? 
I've brought the Madam Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. <laughs> she does not want to be there. All right, first time seeing her. She's my favorite character in the yes, game. Madam. And I haven't yet spoken to her in game, so maybe she's mad arrogant. I'm not gonna like her. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. <laughs> you can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Her voice, though, is amazing. Greetings, I love it. Guests from the Astral Express. Hello. Oh, well, that's a friendly welcome. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. Well, I understand, but since we're the saviors of the world... But since you know about the Stellaron mm -hmm. and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person. Yeah, sure. And politely decline your proposal. <laughs> I understand. I understand the fear. Decline? Why? I'm just going to stay silent. <laughs> I'm in shock. What do you want me to say? The Xianzhou Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. Mm, we see that. We've been that. around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. Mm -hmm. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. So your ego's Outsider in the way. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. She's not even declining it rudely. She's super polite. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Okay. Am I making myself clear? Oh, yeah. From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. <laughs> He's just nerding on, and she's like, Listen, I just said I didn't want any help. <laughs> very politely. Now, if you don't leave, I will very politely kick you in the butt. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. All right, good arguments. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, mm -hmm. and we've only come here to lend you that experience. My name almost is Stellaron. Also, there's one in me. Don't kill me, I'm gonna blow up. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Xianzhou Alliance. Ooh, she's kind of getting angry. There's no need for the Astral Express to get involved. Uh-huh. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Her voice is so pretty. I love it. Ah, uh, but... Ah. Uh... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sanjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. Oh, wow. I'm afraid that's impossible. We're prisoners! Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? No one's allowed in? Or out of here until it's fixed. It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Wow. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. <laughs> How did you come to know of the incident? And I what don't... led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? Should we... Should we talk about what actually happened? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Yeah. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened ah, the Jade Gate. That's all that happened. you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Well, that was all Kafka's doing. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Yeah. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Yeah, and Kafka, Kafka told us all about what's happening here. What say you in your defense? <laughs> we were used as bait. This is not our fault. I <laughs> wanted to use you to take us out. <laughs> I'm staying silent. I don't know what you want me to say, dude. You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. <laughs> oh. Don't be too harsh, you gong. Oh. If this gets hey. out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Hello? General Jing Yuan. Wait, she has respect for him. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Hey, yeah. You know what? Himeko would love this guy. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name he was is eavesdropping Jingwen. anyway. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. Okay, that's cool. You know what? I like you more now that I see what you're like in game. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. Shush, shush, shush. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yukong. <laughs> this is indeed an internal affair. I like him, what the hell? I am sorry, guess of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lo Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. Okay. This is a Xianzhou matter. I mean... And it is our responsibility to handle it. You're merely repeating what Yukong said. Of course. 
It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. Okay. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, yeah. I do have a favor to ask. Please, <laughs> after you. Where, where are you pointing me? This is cool. Alright. Yukong is not happy about it. <laughs> Being undermined. <sighs> the Astral Express. Uh huh. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. Really? How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. Yeah, good to see you. Well, face to face. <laughs> face to face, you are kind of a hologram, but sure. Frightfully delightful. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. Yeah. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a oh. few days ago. Wow. Who goes by the name of Blade. All right. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka. That's the one. Who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As Wait. As where that transmission was destined. The Express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. Yeah. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. Yeah, no. <laughs> I say that's impossible. You'd be right. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people <laughs> whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. Yep. There must have been a misunderstanding. It's all my fault. They would never befriend them. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron hunters to sow dissent between us. Well, yeah, definitely. They also hacked us on here. That's right. We've been framed. We can handle the Stellaron, <laughs> but it will take time. And I we'll promise. The bulk We've of been the Cloud Knights on the ship. And is this I want to see the Cloud Knights, all of them. Me. The longer she stays on the ship, yeah, the bigger the threat she will pose. So she's actually here. Since the Stellaron hunters lured you to our ship, uh huh. We shall move with the current. Yeah. You are hereby authorized to do as you yes. deem fit on the Lofu. With the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Deal. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron burst. Mm -hmm. What say you, my astral guest? We accept your astral offer. Hmm. What do you think? Easy, yes. Let's move with the current and help out. Yeah, we don't, to be fair, we don't have a choice, but yeah. If you are able to capture this Stellaron hunter, the Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. Mm-hmm. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Ooh. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal, then. I shall notify Easy. Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you. Wow. And that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. Does he know that Kafka is gonna, gonna get in touch with us and ask for all this info? If there's anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay. Yeah. Don't hesitate to make it known. Give me more Eidolons for Yukong and Sushung. The chat concluded, and well shot you a covered gesture. You understand that this is the crew's own discussion time. <laughs> I've heard of you. Hello. The Alliance is very interested in the Astral Express. Uh-huh. About Blade. Blade is wanted by both the Corporation and the Alliance. I'm afraid <laughs> I cannot comment on his file. But all the info is supposed to be shared with me. Kafka. There are five known members of the Stellaron Hunters. Yeah. Elio is their leader. Oh. He always stays behind the scenes. Most of the operations are led by Kafka. Sure, then you got Hacker Bunny and... Had the Divination Commission not intercepted her encrypted transmission, she would have remained undetected for much longer. Yeah. Okay, you're not gonna tell us who the rest is? Once we catch the Hunter. Bring her to us. Alright. Kafka's good controlling the people around her, this is mm -hmm. true. Ordinary means may prove futile when it comes to this individual. Ooh. But the Divination Commission has ways of... <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. <laughs> torture. Oh, Joe not torture. Does not engage in torture. Retrieving intel does not necessarily involve the use of violence. Uh-huh. In any case, sure. you can deliver her directly to us. Mm -hmm. Once we learn something, I will share every piece of information with you. Only after, alright. If things go as planned, 
I would love to find the time to sit with all of you and hear about your experiences among the stars. As a hologram, or? My responsibilities to the Xianzhu have meant that I haven't had the chance to travel in many years. Sure. We had heard nothing of the Express for a long time. It is heartening to learn of its continued journey along that Star Wars track. I have other matters to attend to. <laughs> so do I. Goodbye for now. I was looking at these trees and I'm like, hmm. <clears throat> March. Extra dialogue. Hi, what do you make of this, Qing Yuan? I trust him fully. He's pretty handsome. <laughs> I'm not asking about that. Although, you're not wrong. Uh huh. He's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Sure. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe that's why she's only a helm master and he's a general. I don't know. I feel like you'd probably like twist the roles with their behavior, you know? Does that make sense? Hello. Ah, oh, you're not voiced. What are you busy with? I'm not a young lady. Says that as her boss. Am I really that important? Alright, till next time then, bye. I really wanna, like, actually hear all the dialogue. The sand pit. Hey, Yukon, can I bother you? Seeing as the general gave the order, the Skyfaring Commission will lend you our full support. Okay. The Stellaron Hunter investigation is in your hands now. Thank you. I'll issue you a pass so you can access the facilities around Starskiff Haven. Huge. As for personnel, the Skyports are currently all under maintenance, so we're thinly stretched. <laughs> what I can do is send Ting Yun as your guide. Awesome. She'll take care of you during your stay. Awesome saucy collect. I'm so sorry, Yukong. I'm stealing your records of yellow bead resonance. I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. Yeah. Do you think there's something strange about him? I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Okay. Hmm. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. I said the same. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Uh, why rely on us? He knows, I mean, if, if he's smart, like he acts to be, yeah, I feel like he would know that Kafka is using us to save Blade. At least that's what I think. The that's like why she sent us here. Involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster. So why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron hunter? I don't know. Maybe Kafka is the key to solve it all. Could Blade have escaped? That would be wild. Lied by the Stellaron? Nah. Using us as bait is is either that or yes. Blade escapes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us. Yeah. Provided they even captured him in the first place. Yeah. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. Well, then I have no idea why Kafka would bait us on here. That's why he asked for our help. Maybe they want to just escape. He They're still on here. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Fair. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Spicy. Very spicy. Interesting. Meet with Tingyun. Leave. Oh, I maybe I should explore a bit more. You heard our discussion. Sushan? What do you make of it? What do I make of it? Who is this? The way of She's so pretty. Apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Whoa. Are you asking me to divine their true intention? I like her. She's so cool. That won't be necessary. It's not Sushan at all. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Yeah, no surprise. Wasn't that my idea, General? <laughs> Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> <laughs> she... It is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? Oh, wow. If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Uh huh. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jing Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Jing Yuan, okay, I'll try and remember that. Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. <laughs> I take full responsibility. I'm as blind as a mole. Knights failed in their duty. 
Oh. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Xianzhou. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. She's so cool. She probably uses fans or something as a weapon or like a staff. I really want to I really want to pull for her. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the six charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he I does not now. care. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. By Fu Shen. <laughs> Dismisses the thing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <sighs> There are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. Mm -hmm. The troubles of the Sienjo, yeah. the papers on my desk, Fair. and the weeds in my garden. Yeah. You know, two of those seem pretty easy to deal with, but not gonna lie, the weeds in your garden, that's just, they always come back. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. Uh-huh. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. <laughs> I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. Nice. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. <laughs> you know what? He said before he said flash. I looked at him. I was like, well, I don't know why he reminds me of Sonic. I can understand your impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, <laughs> you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. He also said sword. People always bully me for saying sword instead of sword, and then now he says sword. You think I'd lose to Blade? Yes. I'm saying you need to have patience, Yang Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is what? to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. This ain't no chess, bro. This is backgammon. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. Mm -hmm. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. Yes, there's two on your ship now. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? Do you think they put it in someone else? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. <laughs> She's definitely gonna torture them. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Were in shock. Not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. Ooh. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. <laughs> Speaking of which, Yang Ching. Ooh. Keep an eye on those travelers, will you? <laughs> that boy. He actually walked off. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> My fear was that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Okay. Damn. We're getting a lot of like inside lore as well. They they do this a lot in this game, don't they? Where you get a lot of lore about the characters that aren't per se you're not actually there to see it. But you get to see a lot about the characters. Like, in canon, your character doesn't know about it. Seems like it will take a bit longer to chat with Madame Yukong. I'm gonna go have a straw outside. Once you're done, come find me at the docks. I'm running to the docks. I wonder if there's any fighting. Uh, I'm extremely weak, I believe, at this point. Oh, this is a cute little... Whoa! Even little baby. Little baby has the ears, too. <laughs> Honestly, they have the cutest, cutest design for children. In this game, they are by far like Timmy awful. Children here, Madame amazing. Kong has asked me to look after you. Yes. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. Uh huh. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved <laughs> She's rooms not happy for you about at the Petrocore Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Oh, yeah, sure. You seem reluctant. No, no. Uh, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yu Kong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <laughs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. All right. Hard to believe, but sure, sure. The pet Petri Petricor Petricor Inn. That doesn't sound very thematic as far as the rest of the things that are here go. Folks. If you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. Hello there, you all see. I thought we were in China. I guess it's fair. Oceania. Look at there, there's a whole a bunch of people. What do you mean lockdown? P things are flying oh, back and forth. Well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. Are we gonna explore or are we gonna take a nap? 
Ready for a nap? That's not like you, March. Haha, <laughs> JK, you always sleep. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. I don't believe you. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? Yeah. I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. <laughs> we actually have some past experiences that are stuck in our head forever. Uh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Yep. Uh-oh. She heard it with her big ears. She hears uh, everything. Uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. Right, with her beautiful uh, ears and a uh, pretty voice and face. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. I believe it. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. Yeah. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. Of course. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. <laughs> old girl, uh-huh. I mean, I, I believe that. <laughs> old girl? I do think she's reasonable. I believe that. They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. Really? She was a work hard, play harder type. Whoa. Known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Interesting. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. That's kind of hype. In any case, Madam Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have mm. all your expenses covered. Mm. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. Okay. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, yeah. food or otherwise, just <laughs> let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Uh huh. Huh. See, thanks to Madam Yukong for us. Yeah, that's. Why that's don't me. you go back yourself? I, I will, but she's busy. Ahem. Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? No, we should stay back and be careful. We should focus on our <laughs> objective first. Knew it. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved. Yeah. Am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? We can't tell you, sir. Exactly right. Oh. The suspect yes. is extremely cunning. Why? She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. Why didn't you just tell us this? Why do you have to ask for it? But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. What is it? We found out her hair is purple. <laughs> oh, hello. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. This is her plan, by the way. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. She sent this intentionally. I heard something in the background. I heard a background uh, zooming noise. She's in a machinery room. Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Oh my god. Uh, which means what exactly? <laughs> this is a starship. <laughs> there are all kinds of devices making weird noises. No, nah, but I wouldn't know the rattle machine, the, the, the rattle of the coffee machine anywhere. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same. Mm -hmm. But for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. If you have massive ears like me, you can scan every different sound. The general sent for craftsmen. And they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Yep. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. What is Dingy? I look forward to seeing you in action. Thanks, Ting Yun. I find it weird that the Kafka hologram was still standing there. Place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor in. I'm not waiting for a place to wait out the storm. Oh, I was gonna say, this is a bad guard. I could just walk past. Wow, respectable. Actually kicked me out. Any more, Ting Yun? How can I help? There's something I wanted to say. Oh. I'm sorry that I skipped your thing. Kafka was holding an umbrella in her transmission. Oh, perceptive. Our wind, clouds, rain, and fog are all artificial. <laughs> really? The Realm Keeping Commission's weather pavilion manages the environmental conditions Why here. would you make it rain? If Kafka was holding an umbrella, that means she was in an area with artificial rainfall during the transmission. Whoa. Still, that doesn't help us much. The ship is huge, with changing conditions across various delves. 
I'm sure there were showers across many of them at the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any chance Kafka is still at the Stargazer? Impossible to say. It used to be that the Divination Commission could track the access history of all the Delves. But... But with the arrival of the Stellaron, things have become messy. Classic Some Stellaron. Some even had their entrance marked as the exit. No. If I were one of the Stellaron hunters, I'd be very happy to capitalize on all the chaos. It's almost like it was their it plan. harder to escape, but easier to blend in. Yeah. Alright, thanks. Thank you very much, little fox lady. Let's take advantage of the rest. Mm -hmm. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. It's weird. This felt like it would be endgame arc. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. Okay. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. Yup. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Are we though? <laughs> Text on Hong, sure. Hey, you guys doing all right? March and I are doing missions for the, are you okay? Message failed to send. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> not long ago on the Astro Express. Uh-oh, wait. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Mm-hmm. Are you worried about those two? Welt is with them, they should be fine. <laughs> Sigh. Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Oh. Can I have a look? Oh, more details. Sure. This is cool. Dimension. 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. Uh huh. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? I'm trying to listen to the background. I don't hear anything. Then. What exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. Uh huh. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Maybe that's what they want, the end of the universe. That's where they want to go. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <laughs> Himeka is so short-tempered in relation to Kafka. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us. But the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. How come you were on the ship then? Stop! Stop. What? Do you know him? <laughs> what? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... Is he the one that Don was worried about and like scared of? If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. Uh-oh. But... Is he connected to that past you want to escape? Bro, he's sweating buckets. He has to be. I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... <laughs> I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. Uh-huh. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Well, now finally Don Hong is becoming spicy character. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden she may not remember it but even a girl as carefree as march has hers uh-huh we tread on a path that is hidden from us the things we see and the trails we blaze the trails we blaze our baggage they weigh us oh, down scenic. but they also give us strength to continue the journey uh-huh try not to dwell on it don hung don't dwell on it daniel the express spends seven standard days at each stop its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Mm -hmm. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. Oh. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. Daniel Hang is going to hang out with us? Nah. Daniel? And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? <laughs> I don't know about that one, Himeko. Oh. Wow, a little nod. Whoa, really now? Trial Daniel, that's good because my Daniel is not leveled. Do, do it now. Uh-huh. Better than regretting it further down the line. Of course. Pom Pom, I gotta talk to you. you Otherwise, you're gonna hate me. Changed your mind. I need to save my friends. Yes. Well then, Pom Pom wishes you the best of luck. Thank you, Pom Pom. Make sure you return before the express departs. Pompom has a lot of respect for Daniel. Local specialties? 
Alright, listen, if I'm not dead, we'll do. Wow, really? I'll go find you folks. <laughs> message failed to send. Can't send the message out. Whoa, this is the cool. Is down, but some functions still work. Yeah, weird, isn't it? I thought the same when we tried to text you in the first place. Can I use that function? I just I pressed M. I want to see the map. Maybe it's instanced area, because I'm wondering how did we disembark here? This is nothing like the place we disembarked with the rest of the gang. Sustenance anchor. I'm level 62, Daniel. All right. Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Oh. Apart from darkness. This place is all that I remember of the Law Fu. I mean, he, this guy, he definitely has the aesthetic of this, this area. It makes sense. This will strengthen our position. Boom. Strengthen this position. Good kill. No Good kill, Daniel. Daniel's here and he's here to play. Uh-oh. A conflict with the Cloud Knights? Mm, not likely. Mr. Yang wouldn't let that happen. You're gonna cross paths with the bad guy. This is all the plan of Elio, who writes the scripts, the threads and shit. Su Shang! And this guy. Stay where you are. I can handle this. She actually can. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. <laughs> Hello, I'm helping. Uh, did I just walk up? Okay, do I get to try all the other as well? Yo! Sushog, Sushog. Well, this one's weaker than mine. My Sushog's way better than this. Oh, let's go. Oh, I've never seen one of these before. This isn't my Venus, so I don't care. Ow. You're hurt. no interest. It's okay. This one's strong, alright? I love her. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, he doesn't respawn. Oh, cool. Heal us, my sir. Thank you. With you two risking your lives for me, <laughs> could I really stay where I am? My guy! That's so cool! No, we have Hila boy. But we can't use his burst for some reason. What a hype man. A hype man. Oh, nice slot. Oh, wait. I don't get to play him. He's like, that's so interesting. He's a little guy that's just being a little guy. By that, I mean, he's like AI. He's not being played by me. Good target focus. Good target priority. My king. That was hype as frick. Are you two okay? Yeah, of course. He healed me. <laughs> they know each other or what? Good. I'm Sushong of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yaoqing. I don't know where that is, but that sounds cool as hell. Can we go there someday? Well, I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? <laughs> Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. <laughs> it's a good thing I joined the fray. I like them both. They're good, <laughs> good chemistry. you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. Mm -hmm. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. Who? What, how did he get here then? That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Uh, the, uh, the, the Shakehead. SMH. <laughs> huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Kinda. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired? Oh, he's a tradesman. In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. What is this thing that's so massive? I, uh... I can't comment on that. <laughs> I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. All right. Actually, I have no idea either. <laughs> anyway, you two just need to come with me. I love her. You know, I love her outfit as well. It's so pretty. I love the colors. You're pretty quiet. What's your name? Daniel. I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. Daniel Hang. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help. But I can leave the port on my own. I can legally not allow you to do that, Daniel. No can do, mister. Mm -hmm. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskip Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. I love her. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Okay. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? I know your name, Luchador. You already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something... Locha! Is that right? <laughs> locha? I remember it. Locha, locha, locha. Let's go. Uh -huh. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushong will guarantee your safety. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm actually a fan. I still main her. Okay, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> My analphabetic queen. Message not sent. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Bad signal? Nah, I don't think so. The base stations. But then it's weird because some features do still work. I don't know. Long range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Right, but it wouldn't in Bellabog. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? Yep. In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Yep. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron <laughs> Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. <laughs> Stellaron Girl Hacker Girl Hacker Crack. Cumulus formations. I got myself a new song. Really? There's Lil Guy. Hello, Lil Guy. Or Lil Girl. I don't know. The Hound Chases the Fox. Talk to Tingyun. Hey, Tingyun. Oh, you've arrived. Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, no. Only an extra couple of hours. Shit. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. Yeah. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. Mm -hmm. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Okay. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. Mm -hmm. The checkpoint there is abandoned, wow, and okay. the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. Sure. With monsters wreaking havoc and the night scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. And the night's becoming the enemies. So we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with. An IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch. Mm -hmm. And we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements. Yep. Uh, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. Also true. That's just what we do every day. <laughs> That's the trailblazing life for ya. The second option would have been more interesting. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Tingyun, come in with us. Tingyun carrying? Can I go in here? Guys, we didn't even rest. We didn't even nap. We're just moving. Shall we, my benefactors? I mean, I don't have a choice. Let's go. Let's get it. Now, what's a hunt without a hound? Mm -hmm. Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. Yeah. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. A treasure compass. Punk. Uh. <laughs> Aww, he's so cute. Cute. What? What is my boy? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, what can he do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? Yeah, he's gonna eat her up. Yes and no. Deting. This is Deting, a bionic dog developed by the artist. <laughs> Look at him. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. It's so tiny and cute. Be it tracks or scent, uh -huh. as long as he uncovers a trace. He'll follow it all the way to the end. What if we tell him not to? All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding. Dating will find her. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, let's play oh. with his settings a bit and get him ready. That wasn't all the details. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. <laughs> tell Dating to follow He's the so scent small. of my perfume and see what he can do. All right, Deeting, an ingenium dog crafted by the artisanship, uses loyal locality probe. All right. <laughs> uh, we need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? Yeah. Come on, the little guy. <laughs> for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large. Yep, I know. But look, we get to play with a little dog. Look at him, he's so fast. Look at the little dog. Ting Yoon, where the frick have you gone? The traces. Where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? Nah, no shot. <laughs> Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. So you're saying you speak bionic dog? That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. <laughs> How come I can't hear him then? Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Well, I could see this thing. Or we could ask around. 
Look how busy this no. is. No. Someone must have seen Miss Tin Yoon. But that's not how we're gonna find cheating, Kafka. Right? That's we're cheating. Just collecting intel. It's cheating. <laughs> woof woof. These grapes are highlighted and look so cool. Are there even grapes? They're just flowers. Wait. Investigate. A piece of white card with a bird, bit of bird spreading in a wooden corner. The card belongs to Amicasador Tingyun, head representative of the Intergalactic Merchants Guild. No doubt this is a tiny clue she left for you, or maybe there are more of them. Nah, dude, there's definitely not more of them. That would be crazy. Found another one. Crumpled up packaging of T brand Immortal's Delight. No, Miss Ting, you can't throw trash even for believe. Yeah, that's kind of rude, actually. She did just throw trash. Oh my god, what would you put behind here? Refined pen of a fan, shape of a koi, but it's left alone forgotten in the corner of a street. Fish represents affluence. You vaguely recall that you've seen the pattern of the fish swimming around each of the fan of Miss Ting Yun. Ting Yun must have left us these clues, right? Yeah. Deeding should be able to pick up her traces now. Why can't I not investigate the sparkle? I guess I'm too busy. All right, let's go, little Dougie. Dougie. Song Lotus cake. Guaranteed delicious. Found you found you, Miss Tingyun. me. Ting's quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? Well, the last three things we found ourselves. If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. All right. Deal. Shake on it. <laughs> Set out. Well, that, so you were you actually put us here to be at the trade boat with wheat? What in the world? Uh, bananas? <laughs> Bananas and mm, apples? Bananas and apples. Can't compare bananas and apples, as they say. Who would have thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet? Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights the here. They like alien ships. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. Yep. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. Uh-huh. You don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss Tin Yun. She's tired and lazy. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. <laughs> Besides... <laughs> The Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. I believe it. Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'm really good at I'd that. Don't worry help, about it. But there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. Isn't that what you do in the first place? You're a buffer. You want to leave all the fun to us? That's so sweet of you, Not actually. Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. No, you're not. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. Probably pet your ears. We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. <laughs> do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? Uh, you know that you're, that's more than I... You know, whatever. Whatever. Besides, I'm over it. The Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. Uh -huh. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I understand. I was never much of a fighter. I like her and wristband, I'm not like wrist my life either. thingy. Getting Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. All right. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Definitely good ones, right? Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Ting Yun. Oh, well, it's so kind. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Thank you. Before D Ting can oh my start God. tracking, crow. you'll have to feed him some leads. Leads? Oh, I, I thought is leaves. With Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Okay. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. This is kind of cool. What is this? Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Uh huh. Something really sharp caused this. I see. It must have been Kafka. <laughs> She's got a scary sword. <laughs> wow. Weapon shards. It looks extremely cool. Pole armor that was sliced in half. Only can I fight the fate that befell its master. So you're going you're gonna smell the blade or what? <laughs> Bang. Immortal's delight. Apparently, 
Immortal's Delight. Immortal's Delight? This isn't a clue. It's just a brand of tea I like. <laughs> Two cups a day keeps the tiredness at bay. All right, doctor. I could do with a cup once we're done here. Same. <laughs> milk tea twins. <laughs> how did... Oh wait, how do you know there's milk? Is that the brand has milk in the tea bag? That's wild. Like a little milk... Okay, I need to get something to drink in real life. To be right back. Bang. <laughs> Kind of interesting, guys. All the weaknesses are uh, crafted around Daniel and Sushang. Anything else around here? I love the aesthetic of this area. I've always said this in the past as well. Woof, woof. What's up, dude? Where? But I've always been a fan of uh, Chinese culture, I guess. When I was younger, I always wanted to learn Chinese. And I probably would have if I would have become a translator. And I might still, actually. That's dead. Those dots deal so much damage now. My Branya is a big damage gamer. Also, I should farm these. They drop things that are important. Urgh. Bolt. Boom. Wow, no crit. Never lucky. Holy shit, you're tanky. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Where's the dot? Where is the dot? How do I do where to no dot? Stop. A D tank smells something. I know. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. Ooh. It looks like it was someone used. used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka. Smell this. Smell this, doggo. Shattered jade seal. Wow. <laughs> Very minimal shatter on it. I missed one in here. In the pot. I know. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? <laughs> uh, it's lipstick. Did she kiss it before throwing a grenade? Oh, something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. Yeah. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. <laughs> That's so no toxic. Time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. It might be growling at any moment. Wow. That's the most toxic thing I've ever seen. Uh, but wait, there's more. Ah, I know what this is. It's an advertisement for a home use object finder. <laughs> there are IPC advertisements everywhere. It's about time I got in touch with their trade commissioner. Ooh, not legal. Boom. Protein rice? Who's storing rice there? Oh, well. No more I think we've us. rounded up all our suspicious clues, but did Kafka leave them behind on accident or on purpose? That's a rhetorical question, right? You know, you know what the answer is. Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. We're a punching bag. Uh, making us run around like jerks? Mm -hmm. I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering. Come and get me. <laughs> Don't forget. No, I keep misclicking. wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. Yeah. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Well, besides, no one's able to pin her down, but then we've been sent with a robotic dog to go and do it. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. I don't know what you're basing that on, but sure, I feel like we're gonna see Daniel hang first. Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Oh, I thought I was, uh, like, first to jump or something. Oh, okay, that's big. Those fish? You see that fish? I need to farm those. I need many fish. I also like how there's lots of healing juice. Oh, nice. Nice little unfold. I wonder what this is. We'll never know. A little bit of healing juice. I'm excited to do the exploration. I think I might do that. Oh, maybe I should do that actually today. I should have been doing that instead of this. It's fine. Function below summon. What did I just, what happened? Imaginary damage up. Huge. This is actually really, really, really big. I'm going to farm this a bunch because uh, for Yukong and for my future Himeko that I'm definitely going to get in the following month and not in the next... 10 years. I got distracted. I didn't even have to go there at any point, but I went there and I killed a bunch of stuff. Yes, this as well. Huge. We need these. They give artifact pull of cog wheels as well. Oh, huge. Heal? Oh, I love it here. I'm in love. I'm... Oh. Tingyun has found... The scent. Where did it go? We got jubated. Oh, when the trace of the huh. hunter disappears, the hunter better think twice. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I like how it just it's subtitles or it says it's her anyway. Why are the guards with you, Kafkita? Kafka. <laughs> March. These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? I offered them a better salary. <laughs> just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. 
But you know all about that already, don't you? I don't like the bold. What do you mean? Why are you trying to... What are you doing? <sighs> what a hassle. This place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. Okay. What the hell, Kafka? <laughs> what the actual fudge, man? And we fight as well? Nah, but... You are evil. It's fine. I got imaginary end wind, so we're we're okay ish. Spirit never dies. Spirits never die. She full full one shots this bang. Huge. Yukong my queen. I actually like Yukong so much. Nice shot. Oh, that's how it worked. Maybe it depends if I crit or not. Ah, it's not like it matters. March. Stop running. I need to kill these fish. They're sleeping. And they drop cogwheels that I need. Oh, that was a formidable foe. Whoops. <laughs> Some inspiration. This is why she's like yelling to me. I love her. Look at her go. Yeah, we just unlocked a big part of the map. This will be great. Kafka, I see you. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Don't close the door on me. You'll have to pick up the pace. Kafka. Kafka, do not close it. Kafka, you b <laughs> I like how the door closed so smoothly. I can totally fit through the window, oh, Kafka. No way through here. We need to think of a way to cut her off. Shoot her. Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts. Big brain. Oh, she's actually running, this bitch. <laughs> she's just standing there now. No, she's not. To the left. Whoa. Parkour. To the right. <laughs> kind of cool. Let that like, go. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that. I could probably open those gates. Can I do that? Door lock. Unable to operate central console at the moment. Sad. In other words, you'll have to explore this again in the future. Kafka, you seriously think you have what it takes to outrun me? Discovered by enemy? Leave me alone. <laughs> Tell me I'm out of range. Tell me I'm out of range. Leave me alone, you annoying ass. I'm so far. Haha, <laughs> wrong direction, idiot. <laughs> and then I open the door. Beep. Actually big. Kafkita. Where are you? Kafkita, I miss you. <laughs> So good, it's so good. He doesn't know. To the left. Can I go more to the left than Brett? No, I can't. I was gonna shatter the glass. This is amazing. There are so many things I can teleport to. Kafkita. Welcome, Astral Expressors. Thank you. Looks like you caught me. I I know. You finished. Surrender. This was all part of your plan. I know it, because you're like <laughs> my mom. <laughs> Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. Oh, wow, that's crazy that you guys guessed that. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. <laughs> we interfere on We're just following the past. That's already been written. The best future a reality. Mm -hmm. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. Aren't we all, if Destiny is a thing? <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? No. <laughs> best for me, naturally. Are you the universe? Surrender! <laughs> if you want to fight, quit stalling. I have a lot to ask you, Kafka. I'm very confused. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. How are we? There's no way we can take her there. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. Fair. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. Okay, want a date? Oh, you didn't mean that? Oh. <laughs> we're fighting Kafka? Really? That is odd. Oh, Sushung Dip. Oh, I'm playing in slow motion. Kafka, you're actually dead already. It's over. I'm playing it in slow motion. This is nuts. Why is it actually so slow? 8K. Fast motion. Fast in the motion. Kafka, I'm sorry, bro, but like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Do you have a second phase where you're like at least a bit strong? Stop dominating me. You mad. You're broken. 16k, by the way. My Sushang out here. My Sushang is Cloud Knight, just so you know. Stop killing him. He needs to be shielded. <laughs> See you later. See you later, alligator. I feel like that's something Kafka would say. Kafka is definitely the kind of person to say, see you later, alligator. Thoughts? <laughs> I think she's gonna flee. Oh, that's cool. Kneel before me, Kafka. 
Boom. What? Uh oh. 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 What? <laughs> She's so cool. I mean, I knew I liked her before, but I like her even more now. She's like a star princess, dude. I'll be taking the criminal from here. This was also part of the plan. Crew of the Astral Express. <laughs> Look at her. This is our first encounter. Mm -hmm. Though, given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. Shut up. I am Fushi. Stop being a nerd. Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Who? No, I mean, who asked? <laughs> Far flung friends ought to be received with fine wine. Mm -hmm. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. Apparently. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? Of course, of course. We should begin with a matter at hand. You do you. What the actual heck is she saying? <laughs> She's showing off with some big and fancy words. Even my synesthesia. What? The what now? Synest synesthesia? Beacon can't make sense of what she said. <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. <laughs> it isn't. We're just, we're, just, hey, we're just having a good time. Listen. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Mm hmm. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the general. Mm hmm. Any essential. I hold a proclamation from the general here if Do you can to see. Yeah. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. Okay, show. <laughs> Did the general just spare us a walk with Kafka? <laughs> I knew he was a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Understood. However, she's gone the by the way. Promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. She's gone. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the bus? We won't make things any more complicated <laughs> than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. But she's gone. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. To the Divine Questioning Room. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? Uh-huh. Maybe she wants us to go there, because that's where the guy's being held. Well, actually, he, he escaped. We shouldn't delay. While I am here, she will not escape. She's already gone. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. All right. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Sure. <laughs> Do we get a cutscene of her walking? No, we just teleport there. That's fine by me. Omnisia spares none. Let's cool shot. Let's disembark here, benefactors. Tingyun seems exhausted. Uh. She's so cool, though, for real. I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Okay. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? Well, I need to sleep. <laughs> no need to yell, Master Divine. <laughs> the Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Yeah. Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Whoa. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. A giant incense tree. So she's not a fox, it seems. Everyone else seems to be foxes, though. Actually, the general isn't a fox, either. Our hexagrammatic Thinking. position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. Yeah. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. <laughs> Stop, March. The connoisseur appreciates the artistry. And the layman enjoys the show. This must be a quantum entanglement you hear about in stories. You count on your fingers? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that? We've got ten fingers. May as well use them. We use them for many things, not counting, though. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. Okay. The Starskiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Mm hmm Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron crisis... 
I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. So true, Bestie. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's eternal affairs, I shall absolve well, you of your ridiculous We're being remarks. kept in the shadows. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. I would have never pronounced that well. Wait, we can help. We shall meet again. No, we won't. I did divination. You really are enthusiastic. Uh-huh. No wonder Jing Yuan told me to give you errands. Well, go for it. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. Where is she even? <gasps> you think too little of me. <laughs> my word is my bond. All right. I will stick to my promise even if this delve collapses. Uh-huh. That's very unlikely, by the way. <laughs> to have this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. I see. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Sure. Forgive me. You're forgiven. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. All right. Even if that means wasting precious time. Cool. I have appointed someone to wait for you that. in front of Exalting Sanctum Star Plaza. Guardian. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. I, I, uh, I've been patient. Okay. We trust you. <laughs> Do we? Do you, March? She's a very slow little lady. Uh, I think I offended someone again. That's your specialty. She's just annoyed that you won't trust her. I think. I think this is true. Hey, are you on her side? No. I just wanted to remind her not to break her promise. That's all. I am. I'm not saying. How? How are you? Seeing this as me picking sides. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Mm-hmm. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. I thought that was your specialty, though. Some people are not what they seem. This is true. This is true. As icy as Don Hung? <laughs> <laughs> Don Hung's not icy. He's nerdy. He's definitely icy, too. Okay, enough chit-chat. <laughs> I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. Oh, you know what? I like that we're not being hunted down and we can just be ourselves and look around here for once. Hello. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Wild, isn't it? Unexpected. What does the Divination Commission do? You never asked what the Skyfaring Commission does. <laughs> nah. I suppose not all commissions are created equal. Uh huh. Anyway. If you must know, I know what the Sky Divination does. Commission you help is me. responsible for gathering intelligence, devising strategies, and performing divination. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty straightforward, isn't it? What does the Divination Commission do? They divine. <laughs> isn't that the same as flipping a coin? Oh, <laughs> that's no. so rude. Sienjo divination is nothing like the superstitious scams you see elsewhere. Mm -hmm. It's based on a technology called the Jade Abacus. Of course. From navigation to governance, military issues to civil affairs, every decision on the Xianzhou must be reviewed by the Divination Commission to ensure that it can be executed without a hiccup. Okay. Will Fushuan go back on her word? I, I think I mispronounced it already. Who knows? She tends to make decisions based on the results of her divinations yeah. as opposed to what others might be thinking. Okay. If she doesn't want to reveal the Commission's secrets, then you have no choice but to wait. Yep. Well, fair enough. How come Kafka gets to know their secrets? The general entrusted the master diviner with the interrogation of the fugitive because he has faith in her ability to manage the situation. I see. As one of the six charioteers, she is certainly capable. Yeah. Why do you think Kafka surrendered at the mere sight of her back in Stargazer Navalia? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> it's part of Kafka's plan. <laughs> Miss Tingyun, are you familiar with this place? Oh, did you want a tour of Exalting Sanctum? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the last time I came here on a star skiff was... 20 years! I think, about 20 years ago now. 
I've been on the road for so long that I've started to forget the sights and sounds of the Sienjo. All I remember That's bad. is that this is a good place to while away the days. Still, many delves have changed I do like beyond it. it's recognition so since the arrival of the Stellaron. Yeah. Okay. If you're bored, you could go and find the messenger from the Divination Commission. I've no idea what you're saying. I absolutely love this little girl's watermelon dress, though. Oh, yeah? You're bluffing. <laughs> Let's go, watermelon girl. She's my champion. I'm not. <laughs> March. <coughs> Eating food, are you? Which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a Sienjo motto or something? Yes. First the Sky oh, these Fairy Commission, are good. now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. Um, hmm, <laughs> yeah, okay. I to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. Uh, hold up. You're right. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope. I'll take this Yenjo over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> oh, March. We've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. I definitely prefer the second thing. Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. She that's deep and sad. Wow, when did you become a poet? Hmm. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. <laughs> I've got poetry on standby 24-7. Alright, let's hear it. Drop a line. Does the Shenzhou scenery seem familiar to you? Are you wondering if the Sienjo is my homeworld? Yeah, it doesn't look very icy. No, I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Sienjo-ish to you? Nah. You must be thinking of Don Hung. You'd look pretty billabog though. Come on, let's go take a stroll and clear your head. Uh, good idea. Let's go. Oh, Cute. Wait a minute. Clear my head of what? Of Sampokoski, dumbass. <laughs> when we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. Yeah. She read the script in advance. The leader mm -hmm. of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one I knows know. who he is or what he looks like. I know. Only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's slave. Oh man, Destiny. Why would you do that? It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. <laughs> According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities. That's nuts. Which is very much like being able to predict the future. Yes. In fact, it may even be superior. In what? How? If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities so not only can he predict but he can also change the future is what you're saying which would include what they did to you yeah i'm different i have free will <laughs> right is that all i am a future variable for the sake of this discussion yes i think so but who is it yeah all of us are future variables our choices solidifying reality sure the future is nothing incredible either just a uh, fog waiting for us to make a decision yeah back to the matter at hand kafka kafkita hmm. her surrender seemed odd she didn't resist at all it was all within our expectations. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? Yeah. For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. Could be as well. But is she really as calm as she seems? I, I don't the future know. holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron crisis. Could be. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her a window of escape. That's what I'm thinking. Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? We'll find out. What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? I don't know. Wealth is deep in thought. He's given up on chatting with us. Daniel! Damn, That's Daniel! But, Looks cool. Well, uh, except for the dead men. Waiting for us. Should we look around? Dude, Arky? Arky from Epic 7? Oh, shop. Let's see what the shop has to offer. 
You're a little Wait, kid. So you're still reading Hello, little kid. Literature? Bookstore. Hello, anything you can recommend? Web boss, you could be a little more enthusiastic. <laughs> Bookstores are for selling books. Signs, I'm not the boss here. <laughs> You may have seen Stark of Seven years, the storytelling, Mr. Shin Yen. I, I, I don't know if it's a reference. Holy, give me this, give me this. All right, see you in half an hour when I've bought all these books. And we got them all. <laughs> I bought all the books. No problem, kid. Get yourself some snacks. Shut up. I'm not waiting. Where's my dog, by the way? Where'd my dog go? Hello? Uh-oh. Oh, he's being Mara struck. Don't worry, guys. I got him. Oh! <laughs> Actually... Give him this medicine and make him lie down! <laughs> I mean, make them lie down! <laughs> I was, during the live stream, or a live stream that I was doing, I was looking at standard banner. And I saw her for the first time. I didn't realize she was so small. And I found it so funny. But she's kind of cute. I like that. Cute, cute, cute. The donk a donk. Hey, battle over. Off my screen. Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <laughs> she's like a little dragon. Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Hey. Your no worries. sort of sedation techniques. Are quite effective. Uh, thanks for not calling it physical assault. I'm happy about that. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? Definitely. However, these cloud knights were already sick. <laughs> and now they're injured too. I'm sorry. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. <laughs> Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Look at it. It's actually a dragon. Look at her tail. Aren't you a little young to be realigning bones? She's 100 years old. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? <laughs> this isn't a child. I can feel it already. I don't have a dad. Oh. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. I don't have a mom either. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she's just like, yeah. I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyara race is self-reincarnating. No right. mom or dad required. Self-reincarnating? That's insane. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. I was going to say shell. I knew it. You're from an egg. Recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. You're awesome. Bellabog kids are making snowmen. While children here are writing prescriptions. Uh-huh. Things haven't been very peaceful in the law floor recently. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. <laughs> hmm. Well, oh, our little sound seeing effects. as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. Oh. As for medicine... I'll give you a 20% discount. Uh, boy, you're so cute. Yeah. So you're still charging us. <laughs> for medicine. Huh. Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? <laughs> you should count this as a blessing. I do. I kind of like this. I, like, I kind of like this character. He's cute. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I have patience to see. All right. Good luck, champ. I like her. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Look at her. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? She's so cute. So this is the Vidyadara. Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the dragons. See, they are dragons. I knew it. Hard to see why. I knew it. Dude. My mytholic, mythological blah 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 thail lore. Oh, I can't talk to her. What a shame. Jing Yan. Oh, you're very close to Jing Yuan, but not quite. Uh, look for the messenger. Messenger, you say? This guy. This guy looks like he has something to hide. You fucking Wii Sports crowd looking ass man. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Realm Keeping Official. Wow. Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Okay. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. I see. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. All right. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Cool. Oh, 
uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. Oh, let's go. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the commission can deliver them to your door. Can I have my stuff, please? Hello, I'm here to collect supplies. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. <laughs> oh, you must be an outsider. Indeed. I see. Please, sign here. Oh, don't do it. How's the David Commission faring? I heard there's a problem with their Meridian pin. Yeah. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Oh my god. Something terrible must have happened there. The ley lines. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? Yes. If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Uh, well, she's kind of busy interrogating a criminal. Thanks for everything you're doing. I don't want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. <laughs> when will this end? When we defeat the Stellaron. I actually got the rice and the cake. Oh, what a cute champ. When it rains, it pours. Yep. The Artisanship Commission has its These own These are elves issues. as well. Sounds serious too. Cool. Go and inform the Foxes, cloud elves, see if you can... Dragons? Oh, my apologies. Hello. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Uh-huh. Judging by your dress, you must be visitors to the Law Fu. You're right. I would love your your dress, though. That would look great on me. Yes, I'm a guest. The general invited me. Sorry, the Xian Zhou is currently caught in unusual circumstances. But the Cloud Knights will resolve the issues as soon as possible. Sure. For safety reasons, please stay in your residence and refrain from going out for the time being. Nah, but if it's so cool, though. If the is still open, Little night walk? I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been uh, temporarily suspended. Uh-huh. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. Oh. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is fair and negotiable. <laughs> what do you think? How are we doing this outside of <laughs> outside of the law? Uh, no need. I have a vessel picking me up. Well, now you must be quite special. Yep. Hey, don't spread this around. But uh, this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. Yeah. The general has sent the cloud knights to check for hidden dangers. No surprise. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Cool. Oh. Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. Uh, hello? Yeah? It was only thanks to your help earlier that the dragon lady and those exalting sanctum this lady? got away unscathed. <laughs> Our help? You don't remember? You dealt with those Mara-struck knights in the nick of time. Oh, that. Saw it all. all of the day's work. I gotta say, I love how there's just people walking around. It gives so much life to the game. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the general commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. Mm-hmm. You must be the guest. You'd be right. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Sure, dude. Items obtained. Ave Astra e Viator. I speak that. And then in the fam, I speak that in the pente fene pente. Wait, I actually talked to the two right people? That's wild. Something happened just now. I have this chance. Are you all right? What are you doing here? What happened? I'll pretend to be replied, I'm okay. No. It's a long story. I'm at Cloud Ford with a Cloud Knight. I'll join you when I come out. Su Shang. By the way, the Express is fine. I came here by myself. I'll tell you about it later. I'm very interested. Tell me the details. <laughs> oh, how interesting. What is that? Oh, really? This is so cool. It's like little domains. Very, very spicy and epic. How about you guys? That's the best I can do. It was great. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Yep. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. M Mara struck, I get it. Record, this man is barely over 200 years old. <laughs> he only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? Hey, calm down, Jing Young. It goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Maybe it's for the better. Hello, good sir. Jin Wen, you seem to be doing a lot better. No one wants to talk to me anymore. I've, th I've done all the extras. Talk to that guy too. Talk to everyone. <laughs> oh. What in the... <laughs> Barumbrella. Barum Mushroom. Give me a second, I'm quickly... Smashed countless innocent vase like this before, but this one's markedly different. <laughs> Instead of shattering the piece as expected, someone stays in place, motionless. Hey, what are you doing? A strange cry emanates from the vase. 
You've been nameless for a while now and consider yourself experienced in many things, but this is still a shock. <laughs> a talking face? Whack it again. Hey, 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 take it easy. My brains are about to explode. I'm, immor uh, I'm the immortal in a vase, and I've lived in this vase in seclusion for thousands of years. And if it weren't for a klutz like you, I'd probably have chilled for another few millennia more. Whack it again. <laughs> Stop it! Are you addicted to doing that? <laughs> Kids these days, you're a vicious beast with a thunderous temper. This face may be an ordinary object, but with the blessings of my power, a pipsqueak like you won't be able to shake it all up. Why do you live inside a vase? Why don't you live inside a vase? <laughs> the mortal world is cruel and evil, and only within this vase I can enjoy my peace. The universe is an infinite birdcage, and this snail shell is as liberating as the entire world. In fact, with the amount of power I have, most people wouldn't notice this vase. Yet, you did. You're not an extraordinary person already, then you're destined for greatness somewhere. Why don't you give me a hand? Consider that as an apology for disturbing me. Uh, is there an advantage for me? Ha, <laughs> very well. Unfettered by repute or fame. Focus solely on world's worldly wealth. Don't worry, I have been uh, out of this world for a few thousand years, but I can still afford, afford a small sum as a thanks. Please find me five bags of trash. <laughs> what in this vase lies a spotless vacuum, and I've always felt the lack, felt it lacks the hustle and bustle of mortal life. Once you find the trash, simply toss them into my vase. I'm going to get in trouble for doing that. I don't even think I have five trash. Put your hand inside the vase. You try putting your hand, can't seem to do it. You don't feel any obstacles, but the force resistance is definitely real. Right at that moment, a voice registered to your brain. Provide a gift, and the path to the visiting celestial will open. I don't think I have enough trash. Oh, <laughs> I have so much trash. Here you go. You gaze down at the trash in your hand, back in this relatively small vase. Can you really stuff this much trash into the vase? Eh, but it's not something for you to ponder over. After all, pedestrians in the exalting sanctuary also can't imagine you running all over the place with bags of trash. You stuff one bag into the vase. It drops down to the bottom, but you don't hear a sound. Then you shove the remaining trash. They disappear without a sound. This is the hustle and bustle of the mortal realm. I didn't expect you to actually bring it. Hmm, <laughs> very well. That's exactly what I wanted. Here's a gift for you. The gates to the celestial realm are open. Come and get it. Put your hands in. You dip your hand in precaution, keeping your dominant hand free for a, to use a weapon, a toothbrush, or a fork in the future. You touch the bottom of the vase. The rubbish you dropped is nowhere to be found, and there's nothing that may be bored with the vase. You pull out your hand. The vase stands before you in silence. Five protein rice. Adventurer's log. Strail. Seed. <laughs> well... We did that. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you have nothing to say. In your next life, go all out, champ. Heading off by... In the, in the night... And Batuta. Old man awaiting deportation. Hey, Jingyun, you're the person from outside. You were complaining for a while. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. One second. I didn't think I didn't connect to Batuta. I've been cyber scammed. Cyber scammed? We don't differentiate between scams happening online or offline here. Please register your contact details. How did the scammer contact you and how you were scammed? How much were you scammed out of? Go fill this out and I'll verify your account for you. Th there is no transaction record on the account. This is a bit of a hassle. You'll <laughs> sort of part out on your own. Aren't commissions here a realm keeping commission? Excuse me, do you have anything else? No, thanks though. Hello, Daha. Wait, am I talking to this guy for real? I heard you require my assistance. Wait, Daha, you have so much to say. Oh, that's right. There you go. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad it's you okay. Came. It's great to have one of the general's distinguished guests helping us out. Yeah. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. No problem, dude. All of the day's work. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Yep. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. Yeah. The puzzling thing is that despite the commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. Uh-oh. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Yep. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. Mm-hmm. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. So it's like very old. So you need me to eliminate the Mara Struck, or do you think there might be a hidden agenda at play? That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. Yeah. You're a capable person. And since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, mm -hmm. it's only a matter of time before you run into Mara Struck. Yeah. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. 
My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Sure. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? Yeah, you're wasting my time. <laughs> Select items to submit. At least one item? What even? Healing spray. Energy drink. Undelivered letters. What is this? IPC designer invite. Why am I giving him any of this? Uh, what's this? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Whoa. Here you go, dude. The how carefully reads the letter he delivered. His expression reflects his disbelief as he reads it again. The how sweats profusely and as he apologizes and bolts away. After a while, he returns with a girl. Okay. I... I read the letter. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I've got no idea how to handle this problem. Lovely. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Yeah. Allow me to introduce Madam Ching Zhu. Hello, Ching Zhu. General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. Interesting. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. All right. <laughs> this guy is utterly useless. Hey, I, I stole this guy's thing. Mm. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. Yeah. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders. Mm hmm Tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. Winning. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the ten unpardonable sins. Oh. It's heresy. The seven deadly sins, but there's ten of them? What in the- are you talking about the pharmacological experiment mentioned in a letter? That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, all medical practices aboard the Sienjo adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. Okay. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question and found nothing. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. Mm -hmm. The author of this letter was likely the Mara struck you defeated. Yeah. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. Sure. You saw how he ended up. Did we get this at the very start when you arrived here? I don't remember. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand There's years ago. Tricky. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Actually. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. Ah, the eternal life, always an issue. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The seat of divine foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. Fair enough. If you come across any similar clues about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the seat of divine foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. I'm doing my best. Sounds good. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The Seat of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. Mm -hmm. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around exalting <laughs> Sanctum. <laughs> Maybe you could start there? I we don't think an I can get anything about that. Out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were... Cut around. all this shit. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. Oh, huh, what a shocker. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. Okay. Deal, dude. I understand why this was necessary in any way. Suspicious people, you say. No <laughs> further. This guy. <laughs> what the f resurrection pellets? What the hell is that? This dude just made me believe I was dying. Mumbling weirdo. Excuse me. Hello. Guest from another world. Yes. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? I am already immortal. I yearn for power. Mm. I understand. <laughs> Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you say? Yeah, dude, you're so right. I want power, pure and simple. Uh, well, not much can be done for you then, sister. <laughs> <laughs> what a peculiar person you are. I'll tell it to you straight. To outworlders, I offer the chance of immortality. Look at that. But perhaps someone like you would be better off joining the Antimatter Legion. 
Police! Regardless of Guards! What you choose, let's keep our voices I found down, one! Okay? This isn't the kind of conversation you can have out in the open. I didn't say anything Before weird. You, you can did. grasp absolute power, you must yearn for <laughs> don't you think? So true, the man. The problem is that the Xian Zhou Alliance doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. Uh-huh. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. Darn elves and foxes. My name is Green Hibiscus. All right, dude. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not on the road to immortality? I'm on the road to power. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Yeah, I got a good one. Jail. Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. <laughs> I found the guy pretty quick then. Here we are. This is the place. You, do you even have a guard? How do we get immortality? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group. And All right. There'd be no need for secrecy. Okay. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That was really easy I'm to find, eh? Unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. Where is the secret guards hidden somewhere? You the eavesdropping on this? Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group. Holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. Uh-huh. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. Okay. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. All right, let's get to them then. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. Okay. Um, what's this Cloud Knight doing here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. You? What kind of trial do you have to pass? What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. <laughs> All right, M &M. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. Okay. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand Handed <laughs> Merciful Medicus's <laughs> Salvation 500 times by hand. Nah, dude. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. This copy, uh, it's a book. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a five hundred during times? the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. No, of course. I'm not doing that. This is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. No, of course. Can I get a pen? Don't worry. <laughs> a traditional Sienjo <laughs> brush and ink stone has been prepared for you. Uh huh. Smooth action. And an ergonomic design. <laughs> I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. Where's the writing? Thousand hand and merciful. How long is this? Oh, okay. It's not that long. It's not that long. Where are you going? Oh. The trial isn't over. You can't just leave. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I thought that this night has given up already. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Once upon a time, the Thousand Hand Sanctus Medicus traveled the world with their 99999 disciples, living under Rahu and teaching their way. Your index finger has a slight cramp, and your shoulders feel a bit sore, but you've only made the first copy. There's still 499 waiting to be written. As they spoke the words, <laughs> we're liberated from youth, old age, sickness, and suffering. After making the final stroke, you catch the Cloud Knight in your peripheral vision as he gestures to you. Hey, stop writing. Get over here. Perfect. He's actually good? My champ? <laughs> copy 500 times, transcribe. <laughs> you lower your head, you become closed off to the world around you as you quietly copy the text. Your hand and shoulder are experiencing more pain, but you've only produced two copies. Alright, see you in uh, 498. Mercy thanks, Medicus, of the growth does help you online together. You finish the third copy, since it started to reverberate where you're being. <laughs> your hand and shoulder no longer hurt. Maybe you've gotten used to the work, or perhaps they've grown numb. You complete the fourth copy. I want more, one more. <laughs> right out of the fifth copy of the cloud, next to you can no longer wait in silence. He quietly comes Stop up next writing. to you. <laughs> you want to fall under their spell? 
I'll finish it for you. Go keep a lookout. <laughs> Swimming scrolls away, finish the Gobby Sacred Title Disciples watching it over the Alright, finally. I know you. <laughs> You're General Jing Yuan's honored guest. Yeah. I think you got the wrong person. Jim Yan? <laughs> Never heard of him. Ugh, is this really the time for jokes of that quality? <laughs> You're here undercover. It was right? so good, though. So I. Oh, perfect. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. Let's go, dude. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. Okay. That's why I'm here. To spy on him. Nice, dude. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I <laughs> wanted to become a disciple. Uh-huh. Huh, why did you come here in your uniform? <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. Yeah. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. All right, sure. You really are a genius. Shh, keep your voice down. <laughs> These disciples don't miss much. All right. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. Okay, let me make another copy then. What do you mean we won't make it out of here? I'm a champion. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Okay, items obtained. Transcri- really? 500 times for real? Dude. Hey, dude. I did it, dude. Take your time. Still I'm done. Mind and transcribe Stop talking. The text. I'm done. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. I'm done. You're finished? Yes. So soon? Yes. Let me see. Uh. Uh. Huh. Huh. Yes. Yeah. It would appear you are finished. Indeed. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Can I, like, punch you in the head and see if you die? Just to see if this immortality thing is real? So, can I join the disciples now? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Wait, he did a thousand now, lines? Only the second remains. Alright. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. Smart. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. You must offer some blood. It'll all be over soon enough. The disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Okay. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. Uh-huh. So, it's time for you I knew it. to battle it I out. knew it. Whoever survives will officially become a disciple. I knew it. I'll pass. There's nothing that can be done. <laughs> I didn't write the rules. If you are unwilling to complete the initiation process, uh -huh. we will have to ask that you keep our secrets hidden. Permanently. In your in your grave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. <laughs> you can't just make us fight like this. <laughs> He's so emotive. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let hey. either of you leave. Fake your death. I... <clears throat> fine fine but at least let me prepare i've never done anything like this before <laughs> very well let me prepare but you'll need to ask your opponent too i don't mind Good. whatever then prepare yourselves time is precious make it quick all right we get to discuss a plan hey hey fake your death strange cloud night listen i have an idea that will let you join the disciples of sanctus medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. All right. You and I fight, and uh -huh. I lose to you. Uh huh. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body <laughs> by dragging me out of here. All right, deal. That way we both accomplish our objectives. Deal. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. <laughs> Please don't mess up and actually kill me. Nah, don't worry, dude. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. I should have clicked the second option. That would have been funny. Damn it. So, have you prepared yourselves? Yeah. Are you ready to fight? Yeah. Let's do it. You, Cloud Knight? <laughs> then, let's begin. Well then, take this! <laughs> <laughs> Am I just me? Trial just me? I get the full team? Poor guy. This. this poor man. I feel <laughs> awful. <laughs> Oh, anywhere. he's dead. He's fully dead. He's gone. I killed him. Cutscene? What magnificent skill. He was fierce, but was no he? match for you. He just died. I'm glad you prevailed. 
That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. <laughs> I doubt I ever could have trusted him. All right. Purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. I'll do it. Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> it's a side hustle. A side hustle? <laughs> <clears throat> Very well. These are hard times, I suppose. Yes, you know, I'm not immortal yet. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Wow. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. Perfect. Can you all see his hand twitching, by the way? He's still alive, man. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. Awesome. You take an active approach to getting things done. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. Perfect. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Thank you. From now on, you will be known by the code name, Grey Peony. Great, they all have flower names. Uh, you know, I'm like Paimon now, I guess. Um, so we joined a cult. Well, Lovely. Grey Peony. Peony. Let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. Sure, dude. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Mm-hmm. Until. You take the Cloud Knight to a safe place. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? Yeah, you're great, dude. Keep it Those up. people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. All right, dude. How how are you still alive? Wait. You, you weren't holding back. <laughs> Saves your face for a long time before you realize that you're joking. Uh, enough with the jokes already. <laughs> It's a miracle either of us is alive. Nah, I beat them all up, I dude. should report back to the seat of Divine Foresight. Stay safe, friend. You too, buddy. Cloud Knight vigilantly monitors his surroundings. After he's certain no one's tracking them, he makes a swift getaway. Alright. What an arc. I, and I didn't tell Welt or anyone about this. That's kind of wild too, no? Oh, this is so, so pretty. You'd be a tool. To You'd be a tool. Look no further. Oh, that's so cool. After some time has passed, we get a text. Is this green hibiscus? Oh no, it's oh it's the, it's this girl. Oh wow, how did I get that wrong? Um, uh, I have very well actually. I've managed to infiltrate the the dude easily. I always believe in your abilities. Thanks. Someone just report in. Did you save a cloud knight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did do that. Thank you very much for your help. That cloud knight had handed over all his intel to the seed divine foresight. If it were for your help, he'd have gotten a hard time getting him, getting him, getting him, getting him. As you've already infiltrated the disciples, please keep monitoring their activities. Anything you should focus on? I've mentioned before that a cloud knight named Zishin went missing a few months ago. I want to know what happened to him, dead or alive, so I can give an answer to his family. Let's avoid contacting each other from here on. If you are seen uh, going in and out of the seat of the divine foresight, those disciples are sure to become suspicious of you. Uh, please come back in one piece. Otherwise, the general will be quite upset with me. So it's not even for me, it's for herself that she's saying this. Lovely. I can't believe this is the main story. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. So cute. What gives? What gives? This. I found it. A secret. There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Grey Peony. Mm-hmm. This must be from Green Hibiscus. That would be crazy if it wasn't. Great Peony, you fully demonstrated your bravery and devotion to us. I'll now give you a chance to prove how loyal and reliable you are to the organization. This mission is of utmost importance, and I don't feel comfortable entrusting it to others. Only a fighter like you can handle such an important task. Yesterday, a disciple absconded in disgrace. She posted a letter as she defected. Okay. Based on our investigation, it's an urgent missive to the seat of divine foresight. It shouldn't have arrived yet. Intercept it, and help us mitigate our losses. Once you finish this arduous yet glorious task, I will introduce you to the Exalting Sanctum's leader of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. So long as he ascends, you can begin your journey on the way of immortality. The Disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Sure. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. Yep. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum's Psycrane stands. Alright. Well, here we go then. I'm just gonna dig through... Mail? Rush to the packages in the cycling stand, but you don't find a letter you're looking for. Not on this stand. Let's check a different one. Alright. The subtitles are so different than the voice, no? <laughs> Speed, not haste. Oh man, the sprint is so nice for this. Alright, here's another one. What's written on this package? The thing is gone though. Seat of Divine Foresight. 
urgent. This is it. This is it. The mail the disciples want to intercept. Yep. <sighs> Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. Let's see if I can crack the code. Is it a hack? Investigate. <laughs> That's a new one. Jade's 100 and then computing modules. Okay. Subroutine stored in the base corresponding patterns. Computing module can be moved. Access computing modules around it. Move all the computing modules to corresponding bases to make the What? You what? Oh. That's kind of fun. That's cool, actually. I like that. I want to do more Code of that. Cracked. Huh. It's an internal order from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Okay. Judging from these urgent instructions, the disciples are aware of a seed of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. <laughs> no wonder Green Hibiscus <laughs> was so eager to intercept this. <laughs> and made the infiltree do this. I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. So smart. I saw you take a picture. Got it. Shh, there might be surveillance. <laughs> Place where we copy scripture. Okay. Person in charge wants to see you ASAP. Do not reply. <laughs> Come here quick. Do not, not reply to the secret I mail. I need food that replenishes points because I just want to sprint around always. Oh, it's right there. I thought, wow, that's so, like, it's like hidden in plain sight. Elor. Are Mauve you the one? Moon. This is Mauve the moon. disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Hello, it's me. Grey Peony, this is Mauve Moon. Mauve Moon. Our operations in Exalting Sanctum. All right. Good to see you, I guess. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. I do indeed. You're too kind. You look kind of weak. <laughs> no need for modesty. Oh, I should have. I've studied martial arts for years. <laughs> I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You look like you have a massive head. Like, massive. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Immortality. Medicus? I'll tell them I want to be strong. Even stronger. Good. So do I. I used to think determination and hard work were enough to achieve that. No, no, no. You need to be in a cult, to too. realize it's not that simple. Uh-huh. During my many years as a cloud knight, I realized something. An individual's strength is limited. Yeah. So I abandoned my mortal body and became a faithful servant. Of merciful medicus uh-huh here take this prescription mm as well through this medicine you will become like me old you will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul archer author uh, you will gain unbridled power no, and I get it freedom now. yeah 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 thanks dude lovely the disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets Heard of your exploits. Uh-huh. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Really? It's just poison. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary. Wait, I have to make but it? others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. It's a problem. They're not even making the medicine for me. No, leave me alone. Can I meet the boss? The boss? You mean the master? Yeah. You'll meet them, but for now there's no rush. So you're just another pawn. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties as you have been. I will. I will. How many people do we have? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. No, I don't believe any of that. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. Yeah. The head of each area reports directly to the master. All right. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. I don't believe any of this. Why did you join the Ark? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. Ah, you'll come back. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But? But I was trapped in a weak mortal ship. <laughs> I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Yes, and now you've done that, I'm Fortunately, sure. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, uh -huh. rescued me. 
Once I took that, they like alliterations. I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Prove it. Now, everything has changed. Jersin and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All right, Jersin. That's his name. That's his old name. Wait, he was mentioned. Was this the guy that was originally infiltrating them? Oh. <laughs> Were you an undercover agent? <laughs> that would be so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Wait, you recognize me? Yes. Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. You were on the letter. M M Mav Moon, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. <laughs> Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? <laughs> I just admitted to being the infiltrated person. I, I, I couldn't have known, sir. I, I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. <laughs> Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our door. <laughs> You've got an active imagination. I don't think I said anything that revealed my identity. <laughs> Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. <laughs> Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. No, did I get the short case, ending? Divine foresight, devil. It's time for you to meet your demise. Do I get to kill him? What? That's crazy. That's so cool. Oh, but you just have a Mara struck, bro. L. L stands for L, and L stands for L. L stands for you and me. Get off my screen and get off my screen. It's just a melody. Watch this damage. We crit. Always lucky. Bang. We never crit, man. Never, ever crit in the history of gaming. Is that all? He does say merciful. Is this a... Uh, is this... Does every Mara struck do this? I think the potion just makes you Mara struck, doesn't it? That's why we're not doing any of that. Maybe we would have been caught at the end of this conversation no matter what. I kind of feel like that's the case. There's no way I'm getting some kind of secret ending. <laughs> oh, he's just dead. Lovely. Bang, bang, bang. There's more. Stop talking. Right, 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 right. You think you're a match for me? Yes. Your Devil. Death is inevitable. Surrender, and I'll make it quick. <laughs> I feel like who would do that? Who would surrender and make it quick? That's just not in human nature, is it? I feel like no one would do that. Just forfeit, dude. Just open mid. Do -do -do -do. Wow, dude. You like broke my shield and stuff. That was wild. Hey, 12k. That's what we're looking for. Gone. I've defeated the evil organization. I did so it, guys. So Mav Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. Yes. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Indeed. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. It was the most random and strange arc I've ever witnessed in a video game. To be completely honest, it was so odd. Hello, I want to go inside the seat of divine foresight. Can you please wait here a moment? I'll go and report in for you. Thank you, chief. Hello. This is beautiful. This is actually beautiful. Collect. Collect. Don't mind me just stealing some shit. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. Hey! This is where they did have that discussion. So? What happened? Did everything go as planned? Not really. You tell Xing Zhe about what happened as you worked undercover. Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Okay. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, yeah. you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. Does that mean you could have stayed undercover? That's why. <sighs> I never imagined that Jersin would choose the path of evil. Jersin. Okay. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Yeah. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersin away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. Drinking dragon potions. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. Mm -hmm. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able to improve its strategy. Awesome. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. One rubber ducky. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Everything. Tell me about the current status of the disciples. The current state. <sighs> I'm afraid we know next to nothing. Oh. The seed of divine foresight is still striving to answer one question. Yeah. Is this but the resurgent shadow of an organization silenced a thousand years ago? Maybe. 
Or have they been lurking in the darkness all along? Good Whatever question. The case, it's troubled me deeply. All right, about this prescription. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. All right. There are <laughs> You're not very useful. <laughs> reside in Exalted Sanctum. Okay. I'd like to ask you to consult with them. You on go the and do it. of the prescription. I'm just a little this dog. This will allow the seed of divine foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. I'm a super sword master and what you're doing is sending me on, on errands to go and talk to doctors about what's in a potion that makes you Mara struck. I hate it here. Tiger boxing gym coach. Hey, do you happen to know Can about this you? potion? You explain what's transpired to the alchemist. The seed of divine foresight? Yeah. Let me see the prescription. Here you go, dude. Oh, heavens above. Yeah. It's a horrifying prescription, and I can't make any sense of it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Go and ask Lady Don Shu. Yo. She's our chief alchemist. She may Don Shu. But she's more qualified than all of us. Don Hong's no mom. Stranger to helping others either. Always she's no stranger to love. And she'll certainly be willing to She help knows the rules. <laughs> and so do I. At Sinwood Pavilion. Sinwood? Uh, I'd rather have the nice wood, like not sinful wood. Speed. Speed. Also a prescription. Whoa. Hello, Don Shu. been looking forward to meeting you. What? You know me? Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyata, a healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. <laughs> Vidyata, a healer lady. No one I knows her name, apparently. No one knows Bailu. You have a prescription you wish me to assess. Yeah. Can you read it to me? I only spoke to one. What, did I get the first one right instantly? Sure. Thank you. You read this prescription to Danshu. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription. Yes. But I believe I understand the pharmacology. Okay. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. I see. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyatara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Happen? What the hell, Bone Marrow? Really? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. I bet I'm gonna catch up with March in the meantime. I have my phone number. Shikui. She was Chief Secretary of Skyfaring Commission. Pals asked really a small event for visitors. Would you be interested? Interested? <laughs> Stop typing so- Stop. So you never share good things with me? But always ask me to help when you're in trouble? This is a good thing. Trust me. Leave me alone. I don't want to count no fucking stars. Fired. <laughs> Fired. New friends bring new joy. New quests bring new content. New message. Greetings. Master Divina asked me to wait for you. It's about time. Can't go. I'm busy now. Okay. Looks like a casino. What does that mean? Uh, you guys are here now? What? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? I guess so. It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. I don't watch those, so I don't know. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Walt. Use the photo you receive in your phone to find a waiting messenger. Well, I'd be right here. Hurry up, Chingcha. Oh. Use fossils by the time you're finished. Ha <laughs> no way. Chingcha. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chingchua. <laughs> Chingchua. They're all saying it differently. Even if the sky was going to collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. True. When she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. I love her. I'm still gonna- I'm building there still, but- it's Only four in your party, no, it's not right. enough. Is this I knew it. Games the casino, I knew it. Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? <laughs> I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, same, dude. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guest. She's cute. She's so cute. Did you bring us here just for this? You know how long we've been waiting? <laughs> you don't want the Master Diviner to know you've been slacking off, do you? Yeah, I mean, I, why are we so threatening? Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! <laughs> uh, but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! <laughs> uh, so I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quiet? Oh no. Four of a kind! <laughs> She's my fave. And wouldn't that be more fun? 
on to. Better to show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true Sam Joe pastime. Uh huh. Celestial Jade. <laughs> Do you think we'll eventually get to play this? That'd be great. Look, she also has chicken headpiece. Oh. Victory. Victory. <laughs> Too easy. Now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I like this. Look at her, she's so happy. It's good that she won, because then she's in a better mood for us. A professional onlooker. Wait, honored guests. Can you go in here? It wasn't too oh. long. Seeing your enthusiasm someone, no? for this celestial jade game has stoked my curiosity. Wait, really? <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I want to go in here, I'm waiting. You clearly have excellent taste. Yeah, huh? If you're interested, I can show you how to play. Please. It's great fun. This is the TCG of this sure. game. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? I'm with Welt on this. Esteemed customers, are you here for divination? There's no one in here. I wish to na I wish to know my fortune. The fortune for today. Oh, no way. Is this daily? Fighting fire with woods will only fuel your flames. Your recent affairs have been going your way, so instead of remedying them, you should leave them be. All right. I can change my luck? 100th customer for the day. The lucky one. Evil be gone. Bundle as a favor. Lucky trinket for today. Don't lose it now. Thank you. Come back again, esteemed customer. I actually didn't get anything. They lied. Didn't give me anything. I'm, I'm kind of mad about that. I thought I could get a cool collectible. Oh. Ah, uh, look. Is that a... Burning tree? It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. Okay. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized mm. treasure. Let me guess. The Stellaron has ruined it. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. Are it's you also the old? Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. Okay. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. It does. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from its celestial bodies hung. Wow. Me it means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. <laughs> Thanks, Welt. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Yes. Bigger than Herta Space Station? Yes. No, that can't be right. Yes, it can. Stars hung from its branches. Then how did it fit in the Sienjo? <laughs> Technically, any tree in the spaceship fits this description. Sounds like a magnificent tree. Exactly. Yeah. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Nice. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. I get what you mean. Let's go. To work? <laughs> we just got interrupted about a big tree out of nowhere. I don't believe in ghosts. Clean, <laughs> what a random thing there, to everyone. say. Stay close. All right, let's go. New area again, I believe. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. Okay. You may be the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by oh. rules and regulations. Yep, there's enemies here. Oh. And people who ask too many questions, not to mention... <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow, it popped so my butt. I thought I could walk up to the door. Damn it. Well, she's gonna make a whole list of things that she didn't like. Oh, let me guess. The gate isn't working? Nice, you got it. I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. <laughs> hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. <laughs> <laughs> My queen. Are you really from the Divination Commission? Yeah, she is. Is it possible you were fired? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. <laughs> what else does she want from me? <laughs> There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance I knew to it. the Divination Commission. I know an emergency exit. Hey, we're gonna move crates again and go all the way around this area. It's guaranteed. Here it is. It's locked. You see, you're pretty oh sharp. my... I hate that the dialogue gets cut off. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. I know. You've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinja for messing up once again. <laughs> I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. <laughs> Miss Chinja, if you don't mind, may I take a look? We have a hacker among our ranks. Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. <laughs> I'll see why not. Please help me. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Okay. Mm. Tell me it's the same hacking thing. Oh yeah, I love this. So easy though. I wish there was more to it. <laughs> oh, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. 
Wow. I didn't want to walk because it was going to skip something again. Look, see, I knew it. <sighs> Anyone here surprised? Anyone? No. Here comes trouble. Oh, this is interesting. It's one of those flying <sighs> ones. Can't we run around to them for a change? True. So true. Why didn't it respawn? Hi, uh, your Mars truck no, sucks. You're the weak edition of Mars truck. Oh, we can open the gate from here, perhaps. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. All right, fine. I'll have to kill him. Open up those gates. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, saved. This freaking flying abdomen abomination. <laughs> no abs have an ass. <laughs> okay. There's a lady here. What are you? What? Uh, why? Wow. A rare honor. Wow. <laughs> uh, me? Have we met? Your pink hair is so pretty. No. I met Chin Chua. Oh. I didn't expect to see her here during work hours. <laughs> That's unfair. Chin Chua. I'm hard. Look, these are the guests the Master Diviner wants to meet. Uh huh. A rare honor. <laughs> She's uh, so evil. Are you talking about us this time? No. Uh, yes. Oh. The Master Diviner rarely allows outsiders. She likes her peace and quiet. All right. If you want to see the Master Diviner, head straight to the Matrix of Prescience. Yes. They're short of hands. The Master Diviner is run off her feet, and the Cloud Knights stationed there are driving away evil spirits. I don't know when they'll be done. All right. Thank you, Ming Mingyue. Mingyue, Mingyue. Mingyue. Oh, I got an achievement. We'll never this know which is one. the Matrix of Prescience. Uh -huh. A large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. This area is massive. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchu? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Maybe Ting Yun can help us. The book Glimpses into the Beyond describes it as... Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Uh-huh. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. I see. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. Yeah. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Interesting. She actually has an answer. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. Yeah. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. Interesting. They say the theory Google. behind the symbols was handed down <laughs> by Noose, the wisdom walker. Oh. The principles are so profound that in the divination commission, only the master diviner truly understands them. Oh, that's a bit easy. So they're computers. Seems like it. But Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. True. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Uh. Technology handed down from Noose. Huh. <laughs> Even in Madame Herta's space station, I never saw anything related to Noose. Uh-huh. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a Jade Abacus or a computer? You're right. Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? <laughs> it makes no difference at all. <laughs> You're right. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Yeah, we, we've been waiting. We've been waiting. Alright, let's keep it up. Look at that thing. Oh, I didn't get to Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? Hello, Diviner. We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Okay. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? Thank you. Because I was confused as well. It's an utter disaster. <laughs> oh. How's that for a divination commission fortune? L. The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. Uh oh. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the matrix of prescience, but I have no forces available. Mm, L. And on top of all of that, General. We still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the seer. Uh huh. The boundless omniscient. Uh huh. Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? I think so too. You don't need to flatter me, General. 
It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. Well, then fix it. <laughs> Fluctuated positively. The good and the bad, and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. But we're living in the stars. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? No. Uh -oh. Look. Help has just arrived. <laughs> Hello. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <laughs> <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? <laughs> well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Wow. Really? That's how you see us? Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. The mask. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. You're right. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Well, look at that. Jinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. <laughs> Glad to have us around as your errant runners, aren't you? It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. Uh huh. I'm not like the general, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. I appreciate that. No need for the formalities. We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Uh, yep. Very well. Then I'll keep this brief. Awesome. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. Yeah. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. All right. Won't we be breaching Xianxia's secrets in the process? I don't know anything about this Matrix of Prescience. Jing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I hath divined our future. We're <laughs> destined to be errand runners. Forever. Yeah. Just say the magic word. Please. What? Which magic word? The magic word. <sighs> the universal one? Please? <laughs> please. <laughs> wow, we better say please. <sighs> Good enough. I like her still. I think she's actually cute. Jingjue, restarting the base terminals will be your responsibility. Oh, and forget everything you saw and heard just now. <laughs> I like them. This what I get. Yep. No reward and a bunch of extra work. Yep. <sighs> Welcome to the real Master world. Master Diviner wants me to restart the Matrix of Prescience's base terminals and bring you along for the ride. Why are you so disappointed? We did nothing wrong. I sense a promotion and a raise. Your time to shine. Chance to impress the boss. <sighs> I worked so hard on getting transferred to the repository. Oh. It's the best place to slack off and be invisible. <laughs> it was an intentional demotion. Oh, I actually have career prospects. <laughs> this is terrible. If I yep. screw it up, they might fire me. Yep. But if I get it done right, they'll send me more work. Yep. I'm gonna ask more questions next time. I could be playing Celestial Jade <laughs> right now. <laughs> my fave, my fave. Hey, you. It's been a while, my astral guest. Has it? Thanks to you, the law Fu has successfully brought Kafka to Has justice. it? I am truly grateful. Are you? There hadn't been <laughs> a single Stellaron hunter arrest since the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is a victory for the Sienjo. So true, dude. So, are you guys in the IPC in direct competition? How can we compete when our paths diverge? The I Alliance guess. has taken an oath to hunt down undying abominations, while the IPC is dedicated to their preservation. Yeah. The Alliance and the Corporation occasionally work together, but ultimately, our ways are different. Fair. Still, it's a pleasure for me to be able to say that the Sienjo has captured a criminal wanted by the IPC. <laughs> I kind of meant it as an ego question, and now you're answering it. Still. At present... Kafka has no intention of speaking, and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. Yep. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Sure. Unearth the truth? You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. Mm. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. Thing that's weapon. wild. 
and was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. Uh huh. But the secrets of the Stellaron hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. <laughs> I think they will stay hidden. I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. Right. Everything hinges on restoring the matrix of prescience. Which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. Sure. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. Right. He's just gone. I wanted to ask the other things too. What is this? Like a teleport thing? A shifting screen. Yeah. That's so... Whoa. I love this. I don't love that. Man's a whole ass building by himself. Okay, I'm just kidding. I do love that as well. I love all of this. Open this door. Free will of destruction. Yes. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Yeah. Serves the potential of the temporal plane. Yeah. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> activate base terminal. We're puzzling? I thought you were doing this. Reset base terminal. Mutar... Whoa! How do you put it down? Oh, here you go. Uh, I see the shape. Okay. There. Does it have to be specifically in a certain way? <laughs> I kind of like this though. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Give me and bam. Yeah, it has to be specific. All right. Well, she's not doing anything. I'm the one doing the work again. That should do it. I thought now she was supposed what? to fix it. You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? Yes, and I did it. The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. True. Don't you think? True, true, true. Huh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? Because she's fucking lazy. <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. There you go. Like me. Okay, and we need to do that three times. Do that, do that. Easy dub. I don't actually have to kill this big guy, right? I have to. <laughs> uh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. I said that too. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the C and Joe. Okay. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the matrix of prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. I see. Uh, One I was feel utterly like useless it needs earlier. A sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? It looks half dead already. We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the matrix of prescience. Friends. Not foes. <laughs> That's gonna work. Prohibited. Why? Uh, March, you should join the Divination Commission. <laughs> Quick, do something. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny as well. I like I her. Won't surrender. All right, I don't have any of the right elements. This is an L. Sanction. Oh, that baloney. Okay, so I should kill the fish because the fish explode. It's actually good for me. Out of here. Bonk. Bonk. I'm nice. We're all out safe. We all got full healed from that. Nice. Oh, yeah, look, here's the anchor. Time to do another puzzle. This it should probably be, be the, the same. Spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. <laughs> yeah. I still appreciate you taking the time. I kind of like her. <laughs> like her trying, I mean. Because I'm sure you're aware that I like her. I've said it a hundred times already. There you go. Second thing is lit. Next. Next. Hopefully no more big bosses. I may have been able to just walk along that path. Instead of doing puzzles and like trying to teleport and stuff. But the puzzles are kind of fun. Bam. Ooh, I teleported before it was... Well, <laughs> I thought it actually glitched because I teleported before it was done. Alright, uh, last let one. Let me guess. Time, space. I bet the next terminal is energy related. Still easy. Darn, the karma terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships. <laughs> there you go. Doesn't get much more difficult than that. Or like much easier. Ooh, we did it. Easy. All three terminals activated. Easy as pie. Let's go back to the core and report to the master diviner. Yep, on it. I'm flying. Hello, chief. That was really easy. Well done, Thank all you. of you. I can sense the matrix of prescient symbols re-illuminating. How did that even... Uh, who changed that? Like, I don't understand. How did that happen? Now, to interrogate Kafka, those of you in the core may feel a few impacts. Okay. Are you ready? 
Yeah, this is interesting. I'm very ready. I'm super excited. Hello, Kafkita. Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. Something looks odd about her. She looks like less detailed. Where's her glasses? I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. This is fake Kafka, by the way. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. Uh-huh. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Something looks off about her. Is it just me? Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. <laughs> she sounds so bored always. <laughs> Nod. Cutscene? Awesome. I'm excited for this. She's just standing there. That's probably why she doesn't have her glasses on. Because <laughs> they would have flown off. Uh oh. It was her plan. And that's why you're here? All for that? Well, not what you were expecting. You have to tell us. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, you, you got you got to stop teasing now. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Stop teasing. Has Kafka pulled one over on us again? She did it again. She'd gone dan dan do it. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you. It's you. What me? <laughs> Absurd. I'd never have thought it. I have something to do with Estelaron? <laughs> I sense more riddles. <laughs> I'm just taking it as a joke, I guess. Answer yourself. Take as long as you wish. Th thank you? I think I must report this to the general immediately. Please excuse me. But you haven't said anything. Am I the am I supposedly the evil person now in her eyes? Mm. You go ask her. I I'm on it. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Yeah. You'd be right. Items obtained. Exquisite ingenuity and lustrous moonlight. Wood sprouts a new fate tilt. Wait, what, what did it say? Fate tilts a skew? I am... Prophets do not prophesize. You're still jailed, Kafka. Hi. Hello. You haven't changed a bit. I mean, I died twice. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. I, I, you don't have to apologize for that. <laughs> you don't look like you're in a sorry state to me. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I, I'm, I, your image, my image of you is just blurry. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Okay. Worth waiting for, don't you think? <laughs> you seem to have a lot to ask me. What is this central side eye, dude? What is your objective? Are you really innocent? What did she see? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. Okay. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. So did I just mess up and all three of those were a choice and I didn't get the right one? Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Yeah. Are you ready to hear my answer? Yeah, dude, sure. Cienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. Yeah. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Okay. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. Okay. One. The Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. Mm-hmm. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Sure. <laughs> Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo. Okay. And activated it. Who are you looking at? A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Okay. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. I see. Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the general. 
Presumably to inform him of this fact. Fair enough. And finally. However, that's all the master diviner I knows. There was more. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. <laughs> he foresaw the divination commission using the matrix of prescience against me. Uh-huh. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Cienjo Alliance to know in this moment. But then they know that you know this, no? As for number three, there you go. Even in their wildest dreams, the Cienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. Uh huh. <laughs> if the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even Blady. here? Blady, we're here for you. For me. You're lying. <laughs> You're remain silent for us. She's gonna say no. You specifically remain silent. Okay, sure. Give me more. Silent Trailblazer. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Achievement. It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. Uh huh. The answer is just that bizarre. I see. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here. Blady getting arrested. <laughs> Blady, me being man. lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew. To the Cienjo. What for? In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. Yeah. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Cienjo. Okay. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. Yeah. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. Okay. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Cienjo will offer you their help. I see. What do you think? Surprised? I don't know. The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Cienjo? <sighs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? Is it that much of a twist? <laughs> you're lying. I, mean, I get this option so often. What is this future you're talking about? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. Uh huh. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. I see. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. <laughs> okay. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. I've, I've, I've expected it as much. Will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. As soon as she said that they were like they were indebted to me, I knew instantly. It's like, oh, so we're gonna have like a huge fight at the end of the game, and we're gonna need all the people we helped along the way to help us. But this is what I thought for Genshin as well. Proportions that neither I you how nor that's gonna I end. nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. Uh-huh. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Okay. You know, even eons can be killed. Now that, <laughs> that's some spicy lore. <laughs> In the meantime, Dan Yo Hong and Su Shang concurrently at the other end of Luofu. That's kind of wild. Hey, Lucha. Hey, you didn't Lucha. finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going. It's interesting. <laughs> so, eons can die. Huh? What a coincidence. They were both talking hey, about it. I thought they were invincible. Uh huh. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Wow. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Sure. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. Yeah, I see, I see. This is Dan Hong's dad, by the way. I don't understand. I'm just, They're all just saying. eons. Why do they want to fight? You, are you really from the Xianzhou? 
other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yausha. <laughs> Isn't destroying the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Huh? The who? <laughs> of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. <laughs> My mom made me practice with My swords mom. all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. <laughs> if you don't know about the feud between the actually me. the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Actually me talking to someone that cares a lot about the lore in any game. I'm like, yeah, but wasn't this? They're like, you're you're dumb. <laughs> Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's a box. Oh, this one? <laughs> Dead. It's yeah. a casket. More commonly known as a coffin. <laughs> it's for containing the remains of the deceased. Is he gonna have a wild reaction? He's like, yeah, classic, dead. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yeah, he trades in mummies as well. Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. Oh my I god. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. No. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For... Long life species death is probably a distant concept. Is this is was this a plan? Did Kafka order this or something? Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. Yeah. It's just we don't put bodies in boxes. <laughs> uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. Uh-huh. That's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. There's more Foxian dragons? Foxian soldiers place their dead in star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. Uh-huh. They call it the returning. Interesting. That's like Viking Vikings. As for the Vidyodora, they're... More mysterious. Well, they respawn. They say that when a Vidyodora is very old or has a fatal injury, yeah, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. Uh huh. When the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. Yeah, we knew about that. My mom calls the Vidyodora long scions. Uh huh. When I was young, My she mom. told me stories of how the Vidyodora could turn into dragons. That's so cool. I don't know if that's true. I wonder what Bailu's ult is like now. It's true. Only special Vidyara can turn into dragons. <laughs> what do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. <laughs> Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. Long. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. Nice. The power was a rare inheritance. Passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Sure. Hmm. I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. Uh huh. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Mm-hmm. Silence. Every life has oh. its limit. Oh. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end. Oh. Of Guys, something just clicked in my head. <laughs> it finally clicked. I don't know if it was meant to be obvious for a while. It clicked. Uh let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? There's someone in there? I thought it was for someone here. Okay, I, I've i seen, unfortunately, it's not really spoilers or leaks because it wasn't the official live stream, but I've seen, I've seen Daniel Hung, and I know why he knows so much about this dragon people. <laughs> yes. So there is someone in the coffin, what the hell? Friend? Uh-oh. No. Foe? So, uh... The sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, I love Sushank. <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The... 
individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We okay. met only once. Mm -hmm. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Okay. Let's leave it at that, shall we? Nah. I think we've all had enough rest. I'm really intrigued. How are you carrying that thing? It seems heavy. That's... Okay. Man, that's kind of kind of exciting, actually. Is this still, like... Yeah, still can't use the map. So I think it's instance, and we'll never see it again, unfortunately. I wonder how this works. Oh, story trial trial. Cannot change character. So I can't even get a critical hit on this bitch? Bam, should use my E. I don't know if I get resources from punching here. It didn't give me anything. All right, so it's not worth fighting. If I can avoid it... Mara struck. Like someone's hurt. Who's that? Wait. Let's think before we act. Thinking? Thinking hard? This will strengthen our position. Giving up. Giving up on thinking. <laughs> Who is this? Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. We can all attack one. <laughs> Stealth. What happened to us letting you handle it? <laughs> I've only got <laughs> two hands. <laughs> Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. <laughs> Enough. Let's go. All right, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Add it again with the big shoes. We all attack a different one. Locha, you get Locha. We said we all have our own. Nah, that's it. I'm not letting you get the last hit on this, Locha. Why, Locha? Why? Locha, more like loco. Loca. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Hilarious. You're Marastruck. <laughs> Miss, are you okay? She looks incredibly cool. What do you think? Yeah, you look pretty fine. All right, see you around. Sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. Interesting. My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? <laughs> Good. Take me to the realm keeping commission. Can we trust? I, she doesn't look uh, like she's from here. Her fit is kind of different, no? Locha, silent but deadly. <laughs> I'm afraid we have to delay That's things her nickname. Again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Oh. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. Oh, explains the fit. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. It's okay, Sushan, you can I know. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Give it a shot. Well, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Just use your E, bro. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. Thank you, Losha. My king. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it oh, shouldn't look. be too painful. It's like, it's like zapping around. Do you think you can hold still? Ooh. That's so anime. It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Oh yeah, we'll watch this dude's power though. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just <laughs> hope you'll tolerate my method. He's gonna kill her and we're gonna be fucking chased by the guards again. <laughs> huh. Curious. It worked. Uh, how? Oh, what kind of medical knowledge is this that's interesting there's more to this man abundance abundance is that is it him hmm. he's the he's the man hmm. very good we uh no longer need to return to the realm keeping commission <laughs> the mission continues awesome as a judge in the employee of the ten lords commission tell me we get the trial she's got like an only thing on her in the affairs of outsiders tummy. however seeing as you came to my aid a word of advice Leave as soon as possible. We're fine, dude. I came to address the root of our crisis Shui. by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. Uh huh. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. Really? They are extremely dangerous. A divine weapon, not like a baseball bat. <laughs> he knows. He knows who it is. Accident, my wake span might have been cut short. It's thingy. Strange accident. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> huh. Come with me. Oh, okay. We're friends now. Suddenly. Oh, we don't get to trial her. I'm so sad. Make her story character, please. 
I want to see her in action so bad. I've never seen anything like it. That is wild. Wow, that's it? What a cliffhanger. Meanwhile, in the Divination you Commission... You know, even eons can be killed. You've already said this. So your plan is to kill an eon? Oh, there's so much lore happening right now. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. That's not what we want. What do you want? I just want to tell stories from the past. Stories about eons that have fallen. Mm, right. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty. I've heard about Anna, this. Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Mm. Hey, you're talking shit right now. Dude, I wonder if we're gonna get... It'd be so cool. I doubt it, though. But imagine we get characters from these paths eventually. These names were once known all over the universe. I guess they're gone. Now they've all but disappeared. Yeah. Leaving behind only masterless paths. Maybe we as a trailblazer can take on these paths eventually, even if there is no leader? Currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. Alright, age, another eon, end? One. Paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide. Uh-huh. And the broader path will engulf the narrower one. Oh, interesting. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated. By Shipe the Harmony. Shipe, okay. Two. In a war There's between the war between eons, eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. Uh-huh. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Propagation. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. Mm -hmm. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. I see. Why does the Sienjo want to kill the Abundance? Yeah, sure. What about Akavili? Did they die at the end of the Eon? That's kind of interesting. I don't know. Akavili's disappearance Not was dead. very mysterious. Not dead. Noose is probably the only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. Nope, not dead. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> yeah, sure. Kind of spicy. They're the kind of stories that... Folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. They would, but as myths. What about the third way? To the hands of someone who has a Stellaron Hold in them. Hold on. Any minute now. Uh, she's gonna get saved by Blady. <laughs> it's begun. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, what? Uh... It, has it become a rocket? <laughs> it's flying away? Or is it just growing back? Alright. There he is. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. She didn't even answer. She's dead. What's that legendary sword? Jump after them. Ah, oh, come on, still. Yes. Diviner. I don't know, but the tree looks nice again. If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Sure. Hey, did she brainwash you? <laughs> I mean, I'm a product of her work. Uh, uh, find Fushuan and Jingwan and report to them about the Ambrosial Arbor's strange resurrection. Is it strange, though? Is it strange, guys? I don't know. The one thing I dislike about this, and it's something I've always had, it's like, you know when people talk about fate, I think it's such a boring idea of everything being predetermined. I don't know. I don't think that's interesting at all. I don't think it's hype. Hello. Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? Indeed. How did it grow all of a sudden? Mmm, eons. <gasps> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their <laughs> lifetime. I'm so lucky. <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> Maybe someone applied a strong fertilizer? Such extraordinary energy. <laughs> it's the Stellaron. But this is good for them, isn't it? Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? But this is, yeah, this is good. Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. I feel like it's a win, though. Not an L. Oh, I was gonna say I never opened this. Ay ya. Ay ya. How does one get there? I can't even open it from this side either. The Ambro Ambrosio has respawned. I know, it's wild. It's crazy. And here we go. 
Guys, Kafka escaped. I'm sorry. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fool. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. Okay. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Law Fu. Nestelaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Law Fu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Yep. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. So we're back to them. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. Okay. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? For years. For months. The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed themselves. Holy shit. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. Yeah. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. Uh-huh. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. Sure. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, but there was that cutscene. It was clear to me. But why is he here, and why did he draw the Astral Express? Hmm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Yeah. Well. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. Who would have believed it? I don't know. General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traders have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Mm -hmm. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. <laughs> Am I coming up with a plan again? Yes. Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready. The silence, man. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mm-hmm. Mm, as ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However... Sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location <laughs> for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? Good question. Thinking? General? Yeah? Well? <laughs> You're a scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traders have run out of patience. Interesting. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on wow. that this whole time? Yes. How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Nothing can go wrong anymore. Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. Look at them. They're coming up. <laughs> we were in need of extra hands. And the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? <laughs> That's not what you're saying at all. Listen up, we've got a situation. Let me guess, more errands. <sighs> the general smiling again. Definitely errands. Classic. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. <laughs> She's on our side. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? Actually, maybe she's more on her own side. She just wants to keep pride. You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... Wonderful. A violation of the rules and regulations. Oh. I would like to remind Goes you, another door. Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations. Fair enough. All the more so in times of crisis. Uh-huh. As such, 
I'm about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure, <laughs> Lady Fu. I hereby issue you with the military oh. tally. Wow. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Uh huh. Under my control? Indeed. You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly. <laughs> <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. Okay. As for our astral friends. Hello. I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellarock. We've been here all the time just Lady for Fu that. Lady will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Okay. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. I see. Orders received. Errors received. <laughs> Payment or go on strike. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Where we not? <laughs> I know how <laughs> we go on strike. The Sienjo has been nah. a dramatic chain of events. Nah. And each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. Yeah. Once catastrophe has been averted, <laughs> we shall discuss this in greater detail. Fine. Miss Tingyun. I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral For free. Friends. This is just your job. No extra salary. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. Exactly. Exactly. I can't believe it. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. Uh huh. I'd like you to investigate these places. Sure. I'm on it. What is Arbor? It's an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu. By Yausha, okay. the eon of abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. Kind of broken. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans, thus becoming long life species. Yes, sorry. Oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. Yes, it was also the bane of everything to come. Yeah, fair enough. Aren't you happy about the Amber Ber 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 Resurrection? As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. Okay, this is interesting, because I, I was wondering this. I for asking a question like this. Let me tell you a story. Please. Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. Yeah. There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence. Classic. Or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. Mm -hmm. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality. <laughs> of and course. And focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Okay. Did he succeed? Well, what do you think? I feel like he must have, no? Yes. And no. He succeeded because, after an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Definitely. Yao Shu's appearance provided for Yao all Sha. manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since. Yeah. And has never been able to return to its home planet. Oof. That doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> the Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? But home. Oh. Our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Yeah. Take the La Fu, for example. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing, but what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. Yeah. In the struggle for survival, the immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. Yeah, very expected. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality a was curse. not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. 
Interesting. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yao Shi's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the secret artifact as their own. Uh huh. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. Fair enough. Many Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Right. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Xianzhou alliance you see today would never have existed. Okay. At this point in the story, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Yeah, more mortality and more Mara struck, I assume. Traitors inside Lofu? I mean, we know. That's the people we infiltrated. Let's delay no longer. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. Thank you. Okay, let me go Let me go here first, though. Is, is there more? Ting Yun's here? I thought I might be relieved of my guiding duties once the Divination Commission affair was over. Well, it's not over. Who would have thought the General would take such a liking to you? Uh-huh. I suppose I must accompany you further. You don't Things sound excited so at all. Unpredictable. <laughs> Through thick and thin, we're like two peas in a dangerous pod. You have quite the sense of humor, benefactor. She does not like it at I've all. I've encountered more trouble with you than I have with the merchant fleet in ten years. Sorry, chief. I just hope everything is smooth sailing from now on. I doubt it. Please look after me. I'll do my best. Are you afraid of the danger, Miss Tingyun? The general said there are traitors aboard the ship. Yeah. But only someone from the Six Commissions could bring the Stellaron into the Sienjo undetected. Uh-huh. Let alone plant it within the Ambrosial Arbor. Yep, you mean Yukong? <laughs> no way, it's none of these. <laughs> I am saying nothing of the sort. Uh-huh. Just raising a doubt, that's all. Please be careful, benefactors. Alright, alright. You want to leave straight away? <laughs> Let me pack some things. I'll be right there. All right, you go pack. I have many people to talk to. Matrix manager. I mean, you're immortal too. You're a little, little baby. You're old. Hello, I'm Hu Xing, a diviner at the divination. <laughs> uh, they put a child in charge? I'm older than you. <laughs> and then, finally, our other lazy queen over here. Ooh, that was scary. Uh-huh. I was having a snack in the repository when the ambrosial arbor started to grow. Uh-huh. The trunk suddenly shot right up into the sky. So, the legends were right all along. Wild. Such is life. Full of surprises. True. That's why you gotta seize any opportunity to take a break. Oh, I'ma take one after this, I'll tell you. Trouble will come knocking at your door. I got some leftovers from yesterday. I got some chicken. I got some potato salad. Oh man, I'm, I can't wait. Hope you guys also have chicken and potato salad, because that shit is nice. <laughs> Given what you just saw, you don't seem rattled at all. It'll be fine. Even if the sky collapses, we have the master. She did say this earlier. To hold it up. Oh, and now we have the general here too. I love her like what subordinate relaxed like us have to panic about idea about Let it. The big shots worry about the big events. You're right. That's the secret to happiness. You're right. You're actually right. Didn't the master diviner give you any work to do? She did. She <laughs> saw me on her way over. <laughs> she told me to go to the repository and read up on anything related to the Ambrosial Arbor. Have fun. A simple task like that is only 15 minutes work for me. I don't believe it. I heard people say even the general has to watch his manners when asking you for help. Uh-huh. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I did I sad go on stake. For you. Uh, here. <laughs> Take this book. Ooh. It's the thought that counts. My queen. Thank you. I Do you actually? I for the master diviner to get off work so I could show you around and teach Mr. Yang how to play Celestial Jade. That'd be so nice. Your kindness is much appreciated, Miss Ching Chu. As Ching for Celestial Jade, <laughs> we'll have to leave it for next time. Yeah. I know. I know. You've got an important task ahead. It's okay. Sorry to keep you. Priorities are priorities. I will relax well, soon. Promise. Quickly. Remember to come find me an exalting sanctum. I'd love to. Straight up. She did. That's so cool. She actually gave us a little book. That's exciting. All right. Finally, our last person to talk to out of this group. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh huh. Uh, the hexagram was right. You didn't understand. It was hidden in plain sight. The ambrosial arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Yeah. Now it returns to life. Uh huh. The future of the Xianzhou is difficult to define. Yep. I'm sorry. 
Kafka escaped. I had long anticipated it. <laughs> huh? She's not angry? Nope. Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? No. Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. Agreed. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. I think that the, this is the whole point about Kafka in general. Kafka in general is a waste of time. Uh, the general wants us to go to the Artisanship Commission. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the Artisanship and Alchemy Commissions. Uh-huh. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. I see. The Star Skiff is ready. I will lead the way. Awesome. Thank you. Oh! We're following her. I actually can't wait. I think this might be the character I'm most excited for. I don't know why I think she's going to be so fun to play. She probably has some really cool magic skills. There's no way she has a weapon. I don't think she's going to have a gun or a sword. I still have important tasks. Maybe a staff or a book. To to. Go carefully, all of you. All right. Uh, wait, wait. Master Diviner, can you <laughs> divine our fortunes for us? Too late. Is there anything we need to watch out for? We're not the machine anymore. No need. My omniscient oh. has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. All right. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> you don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Never finger counting. I'm sure it's nothing we can't manage. Let's go. Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. Let's go, Welt? I love this, by the way. Look, it has the poster of the wanted blade and the wanted Kafka on the other side. I really like this. It's so interactive. He's like, oh, wait, it changed. Give me the Kafka one again. Is Kafka on this side now? Where Kafka at? Oh, wait, Kafka maybe never was. Yes, she is. <laughs> this is old news now. She's not, she's not bad. Hey, and this is the thing Don Hong was at that we could clear? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. All right, oh, well, wrong way. Onto the ship we go. Hello. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. Mm hmm Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. Yep. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? I don't know. Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. What is there to be, like, afraid of? Just Mara struck guards? Is that it? At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. Ah, uh, stop. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Stop. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. Yeah. He's old. He's really old. You're old. You're old. Your hair gray. Wait, my hair gray. <laughs> Maybe they're here to welcome us? <laughs> That's definitely what it is. That's it. First you arrive out of the blue, then the general recruits you to the cause. Mm -hmm. It's like the stories where imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. Tingyun, I'm glad you and I are on the same page. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. <laughs> no, definitely not. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. Yes. The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Yep. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Uh-huh. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots. You get the picture. I do. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Uh-huh. Something terrible must have happened. Nothing new to us. Either way, we'll have to go in. Exactly. Let's ask around first. Oh, bro, I thought we were just gonna charge head in straight, straight head in. Upon the firmament, new mission, humming antlers, intertwined horns, and a little bird. How's my resin looking? It's still not capped. We good. So, this might be bad if it's gonna destroy stuff. It's definitely destroying stuff here. That's not great. I think that's probably the disaster. The gate is closed, just like the metals from which it was forged. It emanates a cold uh, indifference. Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Oh. Break in or climb over. Climb, climb, climb. Can we climb, please? A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is uh -huh. as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Every commission would be, I'm sure. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Oh, uh, dude. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet. 
thousands of light years away. Yep. I'm sure they'll be lenient given the circumstances. It's law breaking time. Are you gonna be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? Yeah, I'll make my way out of there in no time. I'll be a jail breaking time. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. I was gonna ask, but I also just more than a get us in, you know? To charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Okay. I mean, she's kind of right, but at the same time, yo. Okay, I kind of wait. Show the jade seal. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> she. We actually have to come back. Away. Oh my God. A whoa, whoa, guy. King of monkeys. In. Um. What is it called? Apatol. It's no ordinary tree. Branches felt tough as metal. Did you touch it? Yunsha. Have you ever seen material? Oh, like he's that corrupted. Before? He's Mara struck. Mm, what if I have? You gonna go get a sample for me? <laughs> you gonna get a sample for me? I was thinking about it. Yeah. Isn't it just an ornamental tree? Have you ever seen an ornamental tree move? <laughs> Have you ever seen one bore through the ground like that? Eh? Well, like that, eh? So Have you? It moves. <laughs> you just need to run over and saw I love the it. sample. Can't grow faster than I can run, right? You're gonna die. Sure. Oh, Ed. He's a crowbar and a saw. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you when the cloud knights have to scrape you off the walls. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, Yuncha, you're the most uh, agile person on the materials team when it comes to operational efficiency. Uh huh. <laughs> Under the weather, huh? How convenient. As for me, I'd rather stay alive, thanks. All right, well, that was of no help whatsoever. Lovely. I've never seen the ambrosial arbor look like this before. Yeah, you're Is too this young. How it looked back in the day? This is what it looked like back in the day. Hey, away. Master Gong Shu. You are away from the door. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Yes. Are you here to save us? Yes, but you must let us in. Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. No, 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 no. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah. Worry no more. The knight in shining armor is here to rescue. Fret not. I'm the cavalry the general is sent for. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> general <laughs> Ching Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. Yep. You can trust us. That's right. You mean the general invited you? Yes. Is that a joke? No. The Lafu has the cloud knights. No. Why would he send outsiders? Because we're champions. There's been a serious incident in the artisanship commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes. Miss. Open the freaking door away. <laughs> You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. How can you not take this man seriously? Can you tell us what happened here? He's like 700 years old. What are you doing here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Give me Please, your key. If you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. I, it's fine. I'll take the L. The worst thing is... My master is still inside. Give me your key, bro. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. Mm -hmm. He's in charge of our research project. Uh huh. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. What a champion. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Give me your Why car. Why did he run back in? He needed to save the projects. The research. Yeah, see? Is research data more important than life? Both. I just heard him shout, It's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. All right. Anyway, you said you're here oh. to help us, right? Give me the key. 100%. The general sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. <laughs> we'll look for your master. If you give us the key. In that Thank case, you. Uh, take this jade seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. No, we're gonna let him if lie there. happens to him. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to grant I you knew, I year. knew he would... I actually knew it. I wanted uh, to make the go. joke earlier. I think this conversation's run its course. It's such a stereotype every it's time that the student's disaster. like, But we need to save him. It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But Botanical disaster, yeah. the furnace his master mentioned? I don't know. I don't know, dude. You tell me. Open this door. What's up? Uh... Oh, that looks pretty, though. Cool shot on it. 
Yeah. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. This is wild. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. Mm -hmm. Those flowers are kind of like what Locha has, no? <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. That's okay. There's a dude out here that was like, yeah, dude, I can't wait to saw some off. So let's hire him. Oh, there's a man. Oh, yes. Oh, so many of these. This is perfect for me. Grounds your feet is this him? <laughs> Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead. Oh, yes. Milady. Stay away. If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Are you friends with the bad guys? Why are you friends with the bad guys, bro? Why are you doing this? Hold on. Let us explain. We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me. Just passing Stay by. Close. Stumbled in. <laughs> door wide open. Yes. How do you think we got open? Are we in here? Today was so, an evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. I can't shoot him because no I'm waiting if for his dialogue to be done. Mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson. These robots will. Which robots? These? These robots right here? <laughs> They'll teach me a lesson, you say? Golden cloud toad. <laughs> Illumination dragonfish. Idiot. Are you all right? Wake up. I raised you like my own flesh and blood. You're a dummy, dude. Did you really have to destroy my little friend? You attacked us. I want compensation. You're going to jail for assault. You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Yeah. Are you Master Gong Shu? Uh, how do you know my name, child? I read the future. Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, Proceed one? No, your student wants to graduate. <sighs> this guy is pretty deluded for a master. I know. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. Mm -hmm. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. Pretty please. <gasps> really? Yes. The general sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. So you are your but worst person. Not much worst I can person. Do to help. The artisanship commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. Oh no! It seized our most precious possession, the creation furnace. Just show me the way, bro. You're dressed in red, just like Uganda Knuckles. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots. It was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. Really? I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. It's fine. But then I'm doing it. I couldn't just run away. Knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. What is it? One good turn deserves another. I think it's the... Um, isn't it? Can it be the Stellaron? Is that stupid? Maybe that's stupid. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis yes means i know of may yet serve your fight pray you in repayment aid <laughs> my plight are you sure you're not a literary come, li come li on. <laughs> through here thanks this guy is a poet all right walk up dude you're dead ass animals over here give me that two metal love to see it it's like the corruption I'm sure there's gonna be a mechanic to clear them. Maybe Look, oh, I can. I this can do this. Is one of the artisanship commission's prototypes, the shifting screen. Prototypes, but I've fixed and used these. Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. Yeah, it looks corrupted. You though. all saw the jade gate on your way in, I assume. Mm -hmm. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen... I, I know. <laughs> ...wouldn't understand. I know. We've used them before. Indeed. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Uh-huh. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Or Isn't that her job, I though? I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. Mm -hmm. But... Through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting Here he goes again. entangled vents and coiled. He is not a smith, he's a poet. Strikes a pose and raises an eyebrow to say, keep asking. Thanks for the call for explanation, bye. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> have some faith in me. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong? Your match and more in strength to meet ere long. Mm hmm. Here we go, I think. Sets up the equipment hastily. This is the first thing that came to mind <laughs> when the tree demon attacked. <laughs> okay. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. No, it's not. No, it's not. Illumination Chest Lumen Flux Pixis. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but. Uh, but. Let me guess. Limited range, energy costs. Both. <laughs> Every light has its shadow. <laughs> But this is more than enough to deal with the tree demon. Okay. And then ignite. Uh huh. Fire beats wood. There's no way we can lose. We actually did read. This is what the fortune teller told me. Lumen flux pixis. Ambrosial arbor branches can be found. See, I knew it would be a mechanic too. I mean, I'm I'm gonna get a tutorial as I walk up to things anyway. It'll be fine. Turn clockwise. I mean counter. And then what? Launch. Oh, I see you need to destroy them simultaneously. This is easy. See, trial and error is so much nicer than reading a big block of text. Now it's like bang, boom, boom, bada bing, bum, got them all. Whoa. I like that though. Cool mechanic once again. Very good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. Uh huh. You're much better than my useless student. <laughs> Don't make him graduate. Especially a wobble gay. What's happening? <laughs> Is the delve collapsing? <laughs> His face just shaking like that, man. Oh, seems like it worked. Wonderful job. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. <laughs> You're insane. All right. There's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. And then what? Are you gonna do it for us and save us? All right, I'm going. Yee! This is a long teleport too. I I, still, I gotta say it again. This place is so pretty. Thankfully, we have space anchors, so we can go back and forth however we want. Hello. Ooh, big flower. We're all running actually. The ambrosial arbor's ruined. so far behind. They've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, uh -huh. the Creation Furnace. It's fine. Help me, dear young friend. I'm on it. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots <laughs> punch through the furnace. I did nod. Are we actually going to? New mini game. Use the axe. Oh, cutscene. Careful. It's changing. It's a boss fight. Who's coming out of the flower? dust oh my god it's the goat demon what the hell am i looking at careful the pixie dust oh what whoa okay what kind of monster is this goat flower Miraculous. it creates life at will such incredible power. Okay, but then we will fight it, but someone needs to deal with it on the side. I have absolutely nothing that deals with this enemy except for Gepard Le Lepard right now, which is, in my honest opinion, an L. Maybe I can take the turn with Branya Burst? Doesn't look like it. Classic L. All right, Gep, you and me, buddy. He has two health bars as well. I'm just gonna give Gep the turn every time. Try and get the shield down anyway. Uh-oh. So he made a tree. Tingyun is good against the tree. That is a dub. Oh. Plus 65k, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? Stop it. Die, old man. It's guarding the ambrosial arbor's roots and the furnace. Clearly. So that's all you're gonna tell me. <laughs> that's all you're gonna tell me? Well, it's... I wish I had like that teeny tiny chunk of energy recharge more. Is it counter always? Yeah, it's a counter plant. I actually might not clear this. So it's invincible. <laughs> no matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. True. Unfair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. It's fine. I'm sure Daniel and the gang is going to come and save us in a second. 
Run! <laughs> Run, it's charging it! Oh, I wish we had a scene where it chased us. <sighs> no wonder the Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. Yep. They're unstoppable. That thing sure was. Miss Tingyun, are the longwave species on the Sienjo all like this? Nah, no I'm way. I'm afraid this Ebon deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. Yeah. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Exactly. Huh. As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. Uh-huh. Or can we? I wonder. The Evan Deer seems to heal itself <laughs> instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh-huh. Let's blast it to smithereens. <laughs> if we follow the roots, can we find the source of its power? But we're using smart. Yeah! It can't heal if we take out the source, right? I think so. The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. Deal. Dealio. So the general asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission. Right? Yes. Uh, the artisan ship commission had no choice but to halt operations once the tree demon appeared. It's for your own safety, though, dude. What is this lizard-looking ass? Leave me alone. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Nope. <laughs> I'm thoughts, sorry, but... Master Gongshu? What was the suggestion? When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, are we gonna clear the roots? That'd be oh, wild. Great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. That has to be a joke. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. And a poet. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. There he goes again. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. Mm -hmm. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Sure. Maybe the root system is the key. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire? Yes. Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its <laughs> reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. All right, let's get it. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground. On it, chief. Okay. It starts there. Oh, that's easy, bro. Rotate it. Counterclock. And then this one, rotate it. Uh, Counterclock as well. And then we shoot. And then it's done. Easy as peasy. Okay, clear this area. See? My theory was correct. Keep wow, you're going. so smart, man. Hey, that's useful. Oh, don't open that door. Don't open the evil guy. It opened the evil guy! <laughs> Run! Run! What is the What is the point of being here? That was utterly useless. Oh, rotate. There you go. Never mind. It is not utterly useless. Teleport. Useful. Space anchor activated. Oh man, you're telling me we have to discuss something again before I could just do the puzzle. I'm gonna actually farm all of these. Uh, quick, there's more roots over here. I see it. Give me a moment. I'll set up the device. Are we gonna get attacked? No. Huge. Clockwise. Counterclock. Counterclock. No. Clockwise. We win. Pew. Oh, almost shot me. <laughs> Careful there, champ. We're done. All right, back to the big deer. I suspect the ambrosial arbor's root system must have spread far underground. Uh huh. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the artisanship commission. It should weaken the thing Let's still. Hurry before they have a chance to grow back. So, Deal. The next step is killing the guardian. Deer hunting. Uh, let's go. That's hoof some fun was also a good one. Actually, it was an awful one, but that's what kind of makes it. Okay, I'll just, sorry for the immersion, but. <laughs> Shield. You. No. Look, the roots coiled around the creation furnace. They've withered. I know. Excellent. Nothing can stop you now. Well, there's still a big deer in the way, I will say. Let's see, will I be shielded? I am. Give us some attack boost. Jepard burst. Honestly, I'm using everything. I don't even care. I'm just doing damage. 14k, please. Never crit. Never lucky. Uh, 6k, please. I think it'll be 6k if we crit. Whoa, holy shit, 12k. I lied. We are smash doodling this thing right now. I think I should do one of these. Why can't Jepard move? Outraging. <laughs> 
I am Angi. Okay, we need to shield. We need to shield. I forgot. He gained counter again. At this point, I really think maybe I should just beat the crap out of the deer still. Maybe it would just be better for me. Give us some buffs. Cold as ice. I just realized something. I just realized something so stupid. That's been muted the entire time. I was wondering why it felt so empty. <laughs> Alright, well... Better late than never, I guess. This is nice, you can do it in-game as well. I, you know what, I was I was wondering why it felt so silent at times. I'm so sorry about that. We probably missed a lot of good tracks, but hey, uh, in the bright side, there's gonna be more story here, I'm sure, so we'll get to experience all the nice music during that. All right, second health bar, phase two. I, I hope there's only two phases, okay. Brought up both plants instantly. Destroy the twigs, peaches. <laughs> peaches, peaches, peaches. <laughs> Welt's uh, actually I'm just pissed. Saying, it'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. Welt is actually pissed. Stay the course. To the class. Watch this damage. The wind is right. Watch these peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, oh, you're gone. Get those peaches out of here. I'm not sure if I should like use so much on destroying these from this get go, but whatever. I don't have an E. Kind of unlucky. Maybe a Q kills though with the amount of buffs I have. Yeah, big. Oh, interesting. You just respawn them instantly. I don't have anything that deals with this either. It's actually just straight up L. Defense boost. That's annoying. Is this thing still countering? Self-destruct retaliation. Yeah. One turn with Sushang should be able to just take it out, I feel. Except we don't proc. I'm not sure. I think they told me to destroy the things with the peaches. He keeps spawning more trees! Stop spawning trees, bro! I think I'm giving Gep a turn, so I can just burst. Hmm. <laughs> There's more! Oh my god, I hate it here. Oh my god. Oh, it full healed him. Lovely. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I just hadn't punched him at all. You know what? Maybe I should just beat the crap out of the deer and ignore the peach. I'm gonna do big damage here. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. <laughs> huge critical hits. Yeah, I should just beat the crap out of it. I'm like full damage team anyway. Stalling isn't good for me. Uh, let's give ourselves some buffs. Okay, now I might have to. Destroy to prevent. Okay. I'm not sure what, like, <laughs> I'm not sure what order. I think it's safe to go chicken on this because it's like guaranteed 4k. My E can, see, sometimes my E does literally nothing. It's kind of shitty. Effect res. Stop spawning peach trees! Is it gonna full heal off that? This battle is unavoidable. No, but I did die. <laughs> Damn it, man. It's okay, maybe Stay I was putting too much emphasis on her anyway. I can Ian burst. Please the crit. You have rough. to save us, Yukong, I beg. Go. Crit. You didn't this crit. Uh, that could be the difference between us winning and losing right there. I should have never attacked the plants. I'm looking at the health bar, we would have just killed it. And I, I told myself to not do it too, and I still... Whatever. There's a chance. Defense boost. That's not great. Please die. Please die. I'm doing my best march. But we're also looking weak. We punch. Do I buff or do I punch? Punch. It dealt 2. It dealt 2%. This is so bad. <laughs> I move again. Okay, it's this. It's this. Or I give Gep. I give Gep. I'm scared for my health. Does that do enough, though? It has 2%. This should be enough. And I can tank, thanks to Gep's move. This was way closer than it needed to be. Alright, we got it. Even better. Woo! Woo! Slayer of a very dear friend. <laughs> I get it. Because <laughs> it's like deer with EA. Like EA Sports. But like deer isn't kind. But it's like a deer. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. Uh huh. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. Yeah. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. Yeah. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. Right. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. Yep. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. 
It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, <laughs> were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years Eight ago. 8,000. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? I guess. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? Yeah. The wise are buried while the fools remain immortal. Mm-hmm. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Sure. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Nah, dude. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe <laughs> journey. Thanks, Chief. Determined. Determined, Luke. Not sad. Not happy. Determined. <laughs> Why are you texting me? We're right beside each other. Say, did you see that benefactor? Or, say, did you see that benefactor? When the Ebon Deer stomped the ground, branches sprouted out. Yeah, I know. I fought it. The celestial traces of the abundance are indeed marvelous to behold. This is the first time I've seen something so miraculous among all my travels. The first of those, uh, on those bows are like sparkling gold, just like what the Shangsha legends say. It is said that ancient times, forebears of the Shangsha received immortal fruits like, like this with the ambrosial arbor and turned into a long life species. If I were to eat this fruit, would I <laughs> obtain endless life? Stop. Are you not tempted? Dangerous thought. Can't leave if you eat it. <laughs> oh, leave, live. If you eat this fruit, I'm afraid you won't get to live for a thousand years, but executed by the Cloud Knights moments after. You're right, Benefactor, but if you manage to get past the Cloud Knight searches, this opportunity seems too good to pass up, right? But I thank you for the thought, Benefactor. Unfortunately, the Ebon Deer is now dust, and no fruit of the Ambrosial Arbor is left behind. Such opportunities are extremely rare, but they slip away in the blink of an eye, just like life itself. So deep, dude. Why are you texting me this? Why can't we just have this convo? Do you forget to voice it? <laughs> she just looked up. Shadow of Preservation. Wow. Preservation. I guess that's the fire arc, right? The Deer Hunter. Got a DM from Asta as well. What a what a what a moment. I feel like that's a moment to end almost. So only our first one. Uh give me one second. I need to heal as well. I'm looking I'm looking bad. I'm looking in bad shape right now. Broop. Don Hong. Daniel, also send me a DM. Starskip went off course. How's the situation? You're alive? Yes, how's the situation on your end? Uh, we caught Kafka and all that, and then a lot, a lot happened, really. What about Kafka's companion? Do you see Blade? That man is out there somewhere. We did see Blade. Be careful, he's very dangerous. He has a legendary Blade. That's why his name is Blade. And that's why we call him Blady. <laughs> Shake off the Cloud Knights and catch up to you. What's going on at your end? Shake off the Cloud Knights? D can I do that old commission still or no? I can't. Okay, cool. So many people DMing me. Leave me alone. I appreciate it, but leave me alone. Later. Yeah, let's do this. Where? Oh, at the entrance. <laughs> I caught you slipping. <laughs> That's the coolest idol I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I think turning around the camera and seeing it at the same moment was the funniest part. Oh, it's the girl from the potion. Draw the chronic search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming. I'm coming. No worries. I'm not in this pose at the moment. I will be awaiting your presence at this super duper pavilion. All right. No idea why I had to walk here for that, but sure. Cool. Very cool. There's so much stuff that happened and so many terms that I'm not completely used to yet that it's going to take me a bit to fully understand what happened, but... From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. You're right. You've got that right. Many who undertake the far-reaching journey to the Xianzhou are weighed down by a heavy heart and exhaustion. Mm-hmm. But your steps are bold and steady. Thank you. A stride worthy if that's a compliment. of a nameless. Yeah. Let's get down to business. Let's I analyzed the prescription business. you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Yeah. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. Uh-huh. What's the conclusion? The conclusion. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Okay. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. Hmm. I compiled L. the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. Sure. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. Will do. Items obtained. I can't read it. 
<laughs> I can't actually read it. Oh, we have to travel again. With a thing we've never traveled before, perhaps? Oops. Hello, it's me again. Can I go inside again, please? Wait a moment ago, I'm reporting for you. I know, you did the last time too, dude. We're friends at this point, you can let me in. Hello. You're back. I am. Anything you wanted to share? Yes, the drink does nothing. Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Yeah, it was spicy. Don Shu figured it out. Don Shu? Yeah. W wait. Why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I don't know. I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission down. She has Maybe a vast she was knowledge the one. and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Uh huh. Let me see her report. His expression is, is serious as she completes reading Don Shu's report. No cure? Nope. <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? I don't know. This is infuriating. Mm-hmm. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Sure. Thank you. Oh. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Thank you. What is it? Thank you. Please, take them. You've done so much for the Lafu. Wow. For the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Is it mega spicy? Is it mega super duper spicy? What is it? Do you have some time? There are some issues in which I like your expertise. You can drop by the Sinwood Pavilion for a spell. Now? She can read? <laughs> At your earliest convenience would be best. She's so sweet. So I got nothing, by the way. Sweet. Nice. I got lied to. I, I got absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, man. She baited me, saying like, Oh yeah, here's the present. Thank you so much for helping us. And then I got nothing for it. I'm a bit mad. Hello. I'm back Thank already. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Don't worry. What can I help you with? My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. Yeah. But the seed of divine foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. Oh god. I've been severely delayed. Am I gonna have to take care of people? I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. But there can't be any further delays. Uh-huh. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Anything for you. Thank you. The patient in question is a little girl. Oh. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is extra info. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her. All right, sounds good to me. Medicine concocted. It's little balls. It's sweet, smell, probably deliberate, made to entice a child to take their medicine properly. That actually works though, you know? I um, I think it's called cough, cough drops. It's like, in Dutch it's called coughing syrup. And when I was younger, I actually, I had coughing syrup. Where am I going? I had coughing syrup that tasted so good. I almost wanted. <laughs> I almost wanted to cough. And then you get old and then you is don't get them. Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Yeah. Does she come here to treat other sightless people? I don't know. Listening. Aw, little miss lady can't see ahead. What can't the hell? Can't see right, can't see left. Heads to the east, ends up west. <laughs> Why are you bullying? She's stuck. <laughs> she can't get down. Carry her down and beat up these kids. Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business. You're like three. What are you talking about? So cocky, huh? Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the time. Wait, are they kids? Yeah, get lost. Stop meddling in our business. This kid does not sound four years old. The arrogant kid runs up to you and punches you. You stand strong, unmoving, but the boy falls backwards from his react from the reaction force. <laughs> I just got physically assaulted by kid. Boss. Boss. What the? What is going I'm on? They use some kind of hidden power. I saw it. You're a cheater. Don't care. Leave me alone. That's right. Losers. If you hadn't cheated. I would have knocked your lights out. Well, you cheat too, then. Are you sure about that, boss? They didn't even. <laughs> Ugh, shut up, boss. Let's get out of here. We shouldn't <laughs> fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. <laughs> Punch him back. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair in school. I got a baseball bat. It's got your name written all over it. Yeah. <laughs> Children flee from the scene while disgruntled. You take the chance to lead the girl away from this site of conflict. Sight. <sighs> Thank you for helping me, Miss. I'm sorry, little girl. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. You should be free to walk then around. I wouldn't have run into those guys. No, no, no. This is not your fault. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up. I hate that. 
steal my thing. I, there, I have an, I have a, like an, an amount of anger. I can't even speak anymore. Things like these are like the things that make me the most mad out of anything. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. <laughs> I don't want to give her a hug. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don Shu wants me to deliver this medication to oh, you. Don Shu asked you to come. Yep. Things are bad on the lockdown recently. I know. Don Shu must be very busy. A little bit. Thank you, miss. Remember to thank her for me. Of course. The little girl takes the medicine and returns the way she came. Am I, I getting it right? About alone. She's blind? For real? Like, how? <sighs> well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Don Shu. I have no idea what is go oh food stall dude i hope there's another eating competition beam, boom, beam, boom, beam. hello how was she did you deliver the medicine she was getting bullied apparently that happens often i'm mad she reminds me of myself when i was a child yeah i also had to find my way in the dark face obstacles i couldn't predict as well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, yeah. I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps. That's cute. To pay a little kindness forward. Why are you gonna make me so sad at the end of this Thank act? For looking after I don't understand. The child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? Of course. Oh, you called me friend. That's so cute. What do you need? Are you worried about her? Yes. I can imagine. I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Uh-huh. Her parents passed away in oh. the denizens of Abundance Wars. Wow. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. I see. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. But sometimes... The loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. Yeah. She told me that Oops, whenever I she's feeling again. troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the artisanship commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. All right. Her parents I'm on it. used to be artisans in the commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. Fair enough. In all likelihood, <clears throat> that's where she'll be. We should take her on the on the star rail. There's danger around every corner. On the these rail, days. <laughs> on the train. Especially for a sightless child. Let's go. Oh, you're coming with. Sure. This is cute. I feel so bad in these kind of situations. I there's so many. What's happening? Oh my god. Is the girl in trouble? Yes. <laughs> oh, how does she know though? She has to be the most unlucky little girl I have seen of what my life. We do not like to see it. All right. Everything's okay now, shall you? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, big sister. Thank you, Tanshu. I uh, we need to find somewhere for this girl. You don't need to be scared anymore. She is here. But I when I think about all the trouble <laughs> Stop. I you to, Stop. You like such a burden. No. Stop. Is that why you're crying? Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. <laughs> because in the next few centuries, yep. visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. Mm -hmm. So, if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? Hey, if people are willing to lend a hand why decline it <laughs> don shoes this supposed to be comforting i mean it is maybe a bit of an early life lesson but she's not wrong i'm not trying to console her yeah this is the reality yeah walking alone in the darkness fearing every incoming invisible obstacle i think it must be so Unable difficult to understand other people's descriptions yeah everyone Everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Yep. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long life species, 
she can expect life to oh, continue no. like this for nearly a thousand years. Yeah. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. <laughs> I agree with what she's saying, but it's it's very early to tell someone this. There will always be someone willing to help her. Aren't you helping to save her? One hopes that would be the case. But that would require someone to be by her side. Every waking second of every day. Yeah. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Thank <laughs> oh, you. No. <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. These are the roughest, but also the best lessons. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Sure. You send Don Shu and a little girl back. You send? And I'm staying here? I was gonna say. The fuck? Thank you again. No problem. For all you've done. I'm glad I could help. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become chief alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. Yeah. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. No. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. I understand. Don't worry. Is there no cure? I, I can imagine. Does the Shensho have uh, technology to help with such impairments? Well, definitely not. It's obvious, for no. long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. Yeah. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. Mm hmm But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. Fair enough. No matter the method employed, our bodies will eventually return to their original states. Really? I too was once a non-believer. That's crazy. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Mm -hmm. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate, and I was left in pain and despair. That does sound awful. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish, forever etched into my mind. Yeah. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenants. <laughs> Doesn't she have a what mechanical a arm? Even the denizens of abundance. So-called abominations needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors. Cursed by the plague's author. Nah, bro. You just had a scary look on your face just now. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I understand the anger. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met. For now. Alright. Oh, I have a gift for you. <laughs> Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. That's okay. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. Deal. See you soon, friend. Take care, Donshu. Yeah, Poor Donshu. I can't... You can't not feel bad, right? It's awful. Hey! Wait, so you're Hello, I bought all your books sure. earlier. <laughs> I'd like to read some books to pass the time. Go right ahead. Mr. C.N. said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. Wow. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. That's very sweet. You pick up a book that has recently gotten popular across the Alliance. Time passes quickly. I got a text. Don Shu. Prepare the present of which I've mentioned. Come over to Sinwood Pavilion. I wish to entrust this with you in person. Coming. <laughs> not a good time. <laughs> that would be awful to say. Do not worry. I'll be there awaiting your presence. Ah, looks like the person you were waiting for has gotten in touch. Yep. Safe travels. Oh, uh... Maybe buy a book next time? With all due respect, Yinshu, I've bought your entire stock last time I was here. I would spend more if you had more. I'm not gonna buy two copies of things, though. Can't give it to Don, she can't read it. Hello. You've been running so many errands lately. <laughs> yep. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Okay, this can be useful. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I see. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. Really? I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Palette. 
Corn and dew. I'd like you to have it. Thank you, Don Shu. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, oh. and promote longevity and well-being. I wish I had this in real life. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Thank you. Well then, that's that. I still got some other business to attend to, mm -hmm. so shall we say goodbye for now? Sure. Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you. In the true sense of the word. I hope so. I wish that for you. Don't you place the box of pellets on the table? You'd glance at it. Yeah, swallow it down. Hmm. Tastes a bit strange, <laughs> but no adverse reaction so far. That's kind of a win. Wait a minute. Ugh, oh, shit. Head. <laughs> oh, God. What's happening? S something's wrong. I'm burning up. <laughs> Feels like I can't breathe. It's fine. <sighs> Deep breaths. It seems to be calming down a little, but still uncomfortable. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the seat of divine foresight. I trust her. It's fine. What is this? Don Shu's diary, part one. Please hear me. Laugh me for being so childish. Write into you in my diary. I feel bad for reading her diary. What the hell? I don't want to read that. It's scary shit. Insufficient points. All right, back once more. Hello, everybody. <sighs> Oh. There goes my head again. What the hell? Is Don Shu sure this broom dew is safe for consumption? I don't know. What's happening? I'm tripping though. Isn't this the seat of divine foresight? Why are there so many Mara struck here? <laughs> oh god. No, I can't let them get near me. I think we're going insane and we're about to beat up normal guards that aren't Mara struck. But I hey, uh, the more you this. learn, the more you move, the more Take you know. This. Want to see what I the do. what now? Turn woe yeah, strike or some shit? What is that? Spur of thunder woe. Receiving killing blow the disciples of Sang to steal one damage to target inflicts one damage. Oh no! Please not one damage. Let's see it. Well, if that's one damage, that's a lot for one. <laughs> one instance of damage, perhaps. Ow! He healed as what well. die. Bang! Bop! Bang! I don't have points. Kill please. Yes, huge. Okay, I'm sorry. I definitely killed normal guards here. Uh, what happened to you? Careful. Don't hurt her. Hey, wake up. Hello? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Thank the stars. You're finally awake. I thought we might lose you. I was so worried. I took medicine from the blind girl. <laughs> you came into the seat of divine foresight and started brandishing your weapon. Oh, God. It looked like you'd lost control, as if you'd been stricken with Mara. I perhaps may be. There has to be something awry. All right. Tell me what happened to you before arriving at the seat of divine force. I trusted the blind girl with medicine. You recount everything that happened between you, Don Shu, to King. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm From like... what you're saying, it seems like the gift she gave to you must be related to the disciples' prescription we examined earlier. Clearly. But the healer who examined you just now said your body doesn't seem to have been affected. I'm a mega tank. How strange. I can't die. Could I'm the Don MC. Could Don Shu be playing a trick on you? I'm not sure. Or is her medicine somehow not working as planned? My advice is to come back later for another examination. Yeah. It's a Disciples of Sanctus Medicus prescription after all. Who knows what healing effects it may have. You're right. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. She, do you think she tried to play tricks on us with little blind girl? Take this deeting with you. Oh. It might just help you find this friend. Deeting again. Lovely. Find clues to Don Shu's whereabouts. Bro, I can't believe it. I don't think Don Shu would do this to us. I still feel like this isn't intentional. Or like not to Damn, kill me or anything. Here. Where could she be? Maybe in the I've corner. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. Easy. I'll ask the deeding that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. All right. Cool. Do you think follows Don Shu's scent and leads to the Arson Ship Commission? I bet it's where the little girl was. I bet. In the same Come corner out, boxes. I need you to help me find Don Shu. Come on, champ. There's many enemies here. She smells green. <laughs> she hasn't showered in a while. <laughs> Excuse her. That's. Don Shu. Yeah. With a group of disciples. Yeah. I guess that tells me all I need to know. Damn, and I just blindly trusted her ass. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Are you even blind? Stand down. She's a friend. <laughs> so confused. Many of our brethren have fallen by her hands. Yes. Yes, I am aware. But 
I said she's my friend. Leave us. <sighs> what do you what do you even what do you even Yes, master? What do you even What now? I didn't expect you to come looking for me. What you would They call you master. So they do. I a master of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I guess Scion circle is full, huh? Merciful Medicus. And I shall lead the entire Sienjo Alliance onto the path of abundance. Uh huh. Did you ingest the Broomdew concentrate pellet I gave you? <laughs> I mean, I should just be honest. The thing is, I don't think it matters. I, in fact, did. I wonder how you get to this arc if you didn't, though. Did you feel the shift? No. So many elixir seekers arrive on the Sienjo in the hope of obtaining the formula to immortality. But none have succeeded. Mm -hmm. Their aspirations are well founded. The Sienjo does indeed harbor the secret to becoming immortal. I admire you. So, I thought I'd give you the chance to obtain it. Doesn't work on me. Upon ingesting the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet, you will feel the limitless freedom of the form bestowed upon you by Merciful Medicus. How can we? How do we get betrayed so quickly? And yet, <laughs> you don't sound any different. I know. Your breaths are not prolonged. Uh huh. And your presence doesn't feel like it's been altered in any way. I'm different. Why is that? Is your constitution somehow different from the average person? Yes. A Stellaron? That's impossible. Oh yeah? Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave then. Even if what you say is true, to host a Stellaron as a short-life species would only spell an early demise. It looks like you are not fated to live a long life. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. It's so difficult with these what situations, man. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars? While the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy. Do you really think that is the case? Listen, dude. You I don't, don't even know. I genuinely Medicus, don't know. Nor the devilish archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I don't know what, why we are even meddling in this anymore. I do anymore. not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the Lafu, to leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you let her go or battle with her what i think the battle would be so interesting you know having thought about it a little bit who am i to interfere with what one side thinks is right and what the other side thinks is right like this person is clearly being portrayed as the evil one and we're seeing like the actual hosts of this place as the good people let's just i'm not who am i to kill her i don't care i'll let her go i don't know Since neither of us is eager to engage in combat let us respectfully part ways. Yeah, I agree. I have been Don't thinking. try and backstab me now. The devilish archer author is not a benevolent god. Nor is merciful medicine. See this, exactly god. this. Your choice to align with Jing Yuan was simply due to meeting him first. Yeah, and I guess him having like power and the whole place respecting him, which would but it, then again, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean it's a good guy per se. Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, perhaps we could have been good friends. You know, I'm sure it was all in Elio's script, and uh, that wasn't gonna happen anyway. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. If it's not, probably gotta beat you up next time. <laughs> Farewell, nameless. Bye, Don. Bit odd. Bit odd. <laughs> I'd better report my findings to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Collect. Look at that. The Diary, Part 2. Enlisted in the war. Wrote many letters to each other recently. 
The war is over, we won and Yufei is dead. Which hope, all you hope to destroy are resurrected. Galaxy will be full of life and not full of death. I'm glad we didn't punch her. I, I just think it's a, a clash of ideas and neither side thinks they can convince the other side without harm, I guess. Which is obviously the dumbest mindset. <laughs> but a little guy. I find it so funny to see people walking around. I think it's good that we didn't beat her up. That would be pretty extremist of us. <laughs> Although obviously trying to convert people to Mara struck devils is probably not the best call either i don't know there's pros there's cons who cares i'm a how did it go did you manage to locate don shu i think she's she's not a bad person per se yes you interrupt queen shins re uh, and report to her everything that happened at the artisan commission artisanship commission so you weren't able to apprehend her mm-hmm she was too quick i see these people have been in hiding for so long yeah they must have a more nefarious plan i'm sure I've got to apprehend them quickly. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. I feel like there couldn't have been a huge consequence if I did fight her. Like, <laughs> imagine the arc, because I spared her. There's going to be a way bigger Mara struck arc. And if I didn't stop her, or if I did stop her, it would have just ended no way. Jin Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. Mm-hmm. I won't take up any more of your time. All right. Please, take good care of yourself. Thank you. If you run into Dawn Shu again, said that contact stop. the nearest Cloud Knights. Mm -hmm. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Thank you. You deserve it. Tell me, it's not some kind of candy that's going to try and make me a devil, is it? Ooh, Windswept Wanderlust, Sinners Misled, Credence Falsified, Trailblaze Mission Interlude. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the upcoming installment. I have caught up in honkai star rail draconic opulence level 59 i've caught up i'm back on track baby i cannot be spoiled on this game anymore except if it's for leaks don't leak don't be like that friends welcome to my office <laughs> thank you so much for watching this incredibly long arc but i was like I, I'm, I, I can't end these quests midway, so I was like, people like long videos, I'll just make it a VOD, so it's barely gonna be edited, and I so hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to catch up with the arc very badly, maybe we'll do shorter episodes with a new patch, I'm not entirely sure, but super exciting, lots of lore, once again, I'm kinda new to it, so I'm kinda slow with it, it should be okay though in the long term. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll enjoy the next parts as well. Keep your eyes peeled for more non-story content as well. I really hope we can do that and get that to work. And uh, yeah, lots of love. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, don't join the dark side. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.